Hello everybody, it's me, Joe Goffany, aka Dr. Bonehead, and finally we're here! Season 3 of Tower of God, after years of Season 2, we're here. Um, so with this reaction, which I'm so excited for, uh, I am joined by my friend, uh, and rival, and assistant director, and voice of Leiro Ro, Joe, aka Chrome X20. Say hi, Joe. Hello there. It is a pleasure to be here, Joe. I can't wait to react with you to Tower of God Season 3 Episode 1. You can tell he's excited <laughs> because of his excited voice. <laughs> oh <my God>. Okay. <laughs> I'm so glad we decided to do this. Okay, so both of us are avid readers. Uh, and if you didn't know, I'm Bomb, he's Leiro Ro in the dub. And uh, we're going to read through this. Um, I just realized, Joe, we never really established how we're going to do this. Do you want us to, like, should we, should we just go panel by panel, or...? Yeah, man, just, um, I guess just read it out, and read then I'll know out. where you are. Yeah, okay, sounds good. Do you want to read some of the voices, though? Ooh, maybe. That'd be fun. That'd be fun. Uh, can I voice in Dorsey? You can voice in... How about you voice that's, the that's, girls? That's... That is, oh my gosh. And I'll voice the okay, guys. All right, you voice the girls, it's I fun. voice the guys. That's assuming Endorsey's even in this episode. That's true, that's true. But take it, okay, but don't, I know how you are with girl voices. Don't go like full, because, uh, don't go full comical, because I'm like, I, I want to, uh, here's the thing, I pause oh, you a to, lot. Okay, yeah. I pause no, a yeah. lot and like examine like exactly what's happening, so. That's okay, I'm a professional, it's okay. I know, well. I'm, I, I can, I can take the theme seriously. Let's, okay. Let's go with that. Okay, let's do this. So, this is the one, one year after the one battle year. at the last station. <laughs> this is already going to a great start. Okay, but no, one year later. So, this is the one thing we knew before going in was that it's been one year. People are saying there's like a new bomb and stuff, and we did see this the image on the front page where bomb had like sideburns or something. So he said it would I'm be so, so funny if, there, if it started with a new <laughs> protagonist before this. <laughs> if he had to, if he introduced a new protagonist. Okay. My my name is Jang Nong. <laughs> I am a regular on Jang Nong Wan. Oh my god. Uh, Nong. Not oh sorry yeah. Nong. I of course I screwed that is up. my AOC. Um, so I don't know if anyone is talking, but... No, okay, let's go. One year after the Battle of the Station. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll just read this. Oh, Kasuno. Oh, boy. What are you doing back Whoa, here all Kasuno. of a sudden? I know, right? They're name-dropping Kasuno! Okay, what are you doing back here all of a sudden? Do you have any idea how long it's been since you left for the Hell Train? And by the way, Kasuno showed up here out of the blue a few years back, saying he'd let Horyang live. Has it been a few years since White, like, told Kasuno to leave? <gasps> Has it, wait a minute, are we getting Horyang and like Gosang now or something? I went, I'm, I'm in the next panel and I know all three characters. Whoa, Wangnan! Gosang, oh my gosh. Okay, you read Gosang. Holy wait, I thought crap. that was... Oh no, you're right, you're I, right. I heard he made some kind of deal with you. What the heck did you, did you have to do to get Kasno to change his mind? And where's Viol, Prince, and Arcraptor? I'm, I'm, I'm like tense right now because they they don't know about Prince and Arc Raptor. But keep I can keep see why myself. Viol might not be here. But where are the other two? They can't be that busy. All right, let's move on. Hello, are you going to answer me? Let's talk later. Oh, let's talk later. Oh, that's a different person. No, let's talk sure later. I'm pretty let's sure it's still saying. I don't know. We'll have to keep reading. Okay. Well, first, let's go back. Okay. Look at Wagon and Misang. Okay. So Misang doesn't look that different, even though we can't see your eyes. But she we haven't have a seen. Face. We have. <laughs> they're they're faceless now. We haven't seen Gosang since the workshop battle, right? Yeah. Actually. Yeah. And well, okay. If we I see Horyang, I'm gonna flip. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. So we see a what's window. Up, or what's door. up with Wang Nan's new outfit? That's what I'm it wondering. It actually looks pretty cool. It's got a poncho on now. It looks like it goes with his new sword. But let's keep going. We have a panel of Long Nan. He looks so different, kind of. He looks like he did at the start of season two with his hair. Maybe I don't know. He's, he's not frowning, but he's got a very <gasps> neutral look. Dude, Horyang is talking. It's been it's a, been it's a while. Been, yeah. <laughs> huh. Horyang! Oh my gosh, he's away. There's Kasuno. Oh, why is he here? <laughs> Is he like chilling now? Is he good? Let's keep going. Oh my gosh, that's the opening. Tower of God, 
52nd floor. Dang dang. 50 52nd floor. 52nd? Dang dang zero. What? Okay, let's let's wait. Let's pause what? there. Let's pause there. Hold on. I I saw it a little bit past okay, zero okay. zero. No, that's okay. That's okay. 52nd floor. I thought they were gonna train with Evan Kell for like Well is is Bomb even there? Wait. That's what we, I don't know. I'm wondering if this is like I swear, if this is actually a new character or something. Okay, let's just keep going. Let's keep going. One year later. Okay. Like one year later after that? I don't know. That's what I was just thinking. It'd be weird to say it twice, right? I bet yeah. you it is one year after that. So has it been two years? All in all? Maybe. One year after Mi Seng and, and Ho Yang show up again? Right. Or Go Seng, you mean? Yeah. Or sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay. I read Tower of God, you know. Of course. In the middle of the 49th floor of the tower. Ah! Oh, it's Shibisu! <laughs> Team Shibisu! Oh my gosh. And there's Amigo Chars in the background. Does he have horns? He never had oh, horns that's, before, that's, did he? That's Rack. No, there's Rack, rack. but look on the right. That's Amigo Chars. Yeah. Does he have horns, dude? He is. Look at him. It's been a while since we've seen him. And Hot's in the. Okay, this is cool. And Rack is there, yeah. Okay, I'll read for him. Ugh, this sandstorm is brutal! How can anyone live here? How can anyone live here? Sorry if my voice is, is bad, by the way, guys. I'm a little sick. But Team Shibisu. Oh my gosh. Right. Hey! Move it, you idiots! Huh? Oh, it's Evan. Oh, oh that's right! He's with them! Yeah, oh my gosh, yeah! <laughs> because Yuri got like... Oh my gosh. Okay, you read for Evan. What's the big deal? It's just a bit of dust. S sorry! Crazy guide. Is that a good Corey impression? It's not bad, right? It is. Thank it you. is. It's pretty good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, this place gives me a weird vibe. What's a ranker like Wan Ye Woon oh. Yeon doing okay, here? Okay, okay, pause, pause, pause. So they are looking for Woon Yeon, who I believe was the the flame wielder who could uh, unfreeze Kuhn, right? That's right. Okay. Okay, so that's, that's why they're here. So this, okay, so this group, let me go back for a sec. It looks like we got Shibisu, Vespa, Amigo Chars, Rack, Hots, and Evan looking for Woon Yeon, unless we don't see someone else. Is that, is, so does that mean go, if you go back a frame? Yeah, yeah. Is Amigo Chars carrying the Coon Coffin? Yo! I bet you he is. Yeah, I didn't even notice that. He totally well, would you is. look at that? Because, like, why would you carry a backpack in, in a world where you can store everything in your arms inventory and stuff? Well, I mean, Evan, Evan has a backpack literally on the... Okay. <laughs> well, way to prove me wrong. All right, let's keep... <laughs> he always carries that, though. That doesn't count. That doesn't count. It's not the same thing. <laughs> you embarrassed me. Oh, man. That was sad. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Okay, we got these... Okay, we got these dinosaur things. They're Evan, like... behind you! <laughs> Great. Now I'm now I'm wondering if there are other characters with backpacks. All right, whoosh. Slash, is that hot? Oh, it's Evan. Whoa! It is Evan. He looks so cool there. Evan's also like he he seems like he's tired of this. Yeah, no, he's like, I miss Yuri. <laughs> That's what he's like. Thinking. They gave him. They gave Evan. Oh my God. Okay. They're, yeah. They're swarming us. Oh shoot. They're what are these guys? Us? I don't know. Are these like residents of the 49th floor? That'd be kind of weird though. Are, are they monsters, you know? They look like they're residents. Let's keep going. They're like weird culty people. Yeah, like and it's, it's like a sandstorm too, so I don't know. Um, can we help too, Evan? Oh, he's going martial arts! Shibisu, that's hilarious. He's still keeping up with the <laughs> martial arts thing. And look at, yeah, look at Amigo Chars. That's totally the Coon Coffin. Totally it is, is totally the Coon Good Coffin. Good call on that. I didn't even think about that. Ooh. Oh, gosh. All right, can we help you, Evan? Don't be silly. Just stay behind me. Kakum. Kya mohea ka. Is that a different language? Or is he calling people? Well, they really are wearing gas masks. Yeah, they actually are wearing gas masks. Okay, let's, let's keep going. What's he saying? He wants to know what did, we're doing here. Y you understand that gibberish? I'm a guide, man. What do you think? <laughs> Good point. Isn't Evan like 
He's probably one of the highest ranking guides in the tower. Isn't he? Yeah. Or is he? I don't know if he's number one, but he's top 100. He's not. He's not number one. Okay. He's definitely like, like what? top five. Oh, what's her name? Mm, the one who gave Yuri the ticket to get on the train. She has a butler, what? and her butler is. Oh, oh, right, right. Um, Alumic, Alumic, Edric. Yes. Alumic, I think Alumic, maybe he's. Edric. Maybe he's higher I mean, ranking. Well, I don't maybe. know actually because he, because she's a regular, uh, the princess who gave her the ticket, right? Are we thinking of the one with like the compute, like the the light yeah, bear? Yeah, the video games. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. I don't know, but okay, let's keep on. I don't know. Oh gosh. <laughs> Fun. Roka Lara Hono Da Wu Nian Ka. Is there someone named Wu Nian here? Let us meet him. He's even interpreting for us. That's so sweet. At first, I was like, oh, okay, they're including that for the readers, but I like that they called I'm that out. I Haru saying that. Yeah, me too. Rakumi Akta's Rakum. What? Wu Nian is hiding. Interesting. Whoa, what's happening? What is this? Flash of beaming light. Let's keep going. It's probably Evan Kell. Ed, really? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know, because <laughs> Evan Kell usually destroys yeah, stuff. Yeah, well, yeah, but Shibisu doesn't recognize it, though. He says, where's yeah, that light yeah. coming from? Damn it. Nothing is ever easy around here. I never thought this journey would take so long. Two years or what? They've been on this journey oh. for two years? Watch it. It's going to skip ten years later. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, 20 <laughs> years later. It's just like, what? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Right after the battle at the final station. Okay, alright, we're getting a lot of good flashback here. Okay, we got, uh, what's his face? Madarako. Madarako. Uh, you read for this pink guy. Oh, wait. Okay. Yeah. It was nice of you to hide them, but what are you going to do now, sir? You're not really going to do everything that regular guide wants you, are you? Or wants, are you? I'm not sure. At least I kept my promise to him, so we're even now. From to him? I thought he was working with Hua Ryun. Um, maybe he's talking about keeping a promise to someone else. Hmm. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> this is actually something I'm not. I'm actually not sure Dude, about. Honestly, I don't know much either, but I do know that Madarako made a deal with Hua Ryun to... If she brings him the ladle that she got from the floor of death, then he gives her the third thorn fragment. I think, right? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he has like a, th a thorn fragment. That's what the comments were telling me from my previous reactions. I don't thorn know. Thorn stuff is so far away. It's really weird because I don't know. Let's just keep reading. From he now gets a on, piece of the thorn. If he, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah keep no, reading. <laughs> from now on, <laughs> I can do whatever I want with them. Besides, they're just a bunch of regular. I pride myself on being a businessman with principles, of course. But morality only applies when you're at least sort of in the same league. In this case... So he's not a good... I, I mean, he did not look like a good guy. Uh, in this case... The smartest thing to do would be to plunder them! Wait, really? Wait, so he, he hid them from Calavan, but now he's gonna plunder them. Really? Let's keep going. Betrayal. Yeah, betrayal. So they, they're teleporting in... Oh, look at White! He got his ponytail. White looks pretty awesome. White karate. White, White looks different. <laughs> he does. I was At first, I thought it was a new character. Um, <laughs> Evan Kill looks like she was sleeping. Um, I f so, Madaraka is a high ranker, but I, d I doubt he's like much of a fighter. And I doubt he can take on Karaka, White, and Evan Kell. But we'll, we'll see. Oh, okay. He's freaking out. Huh? Lord. Oh. oh. Yeah, yeah. Lord Karaka. I forgot. He works with with FUG. That's right. Okay, this this changes things. What's he doing in this station? You can read for Crockett. I didn't expect to see you again so soon, Madarako. Look, I'm tired. Just hurry up and open the door. Oh, shit. So what's interesting is I don't know if Karaka is a high ranker because they've never specifically spelled it out. They've just said he's, he's quote, climbing in the rankings. He like, is lord of a floor, and people do worship him. Right. So it seems like he would be, but 
but like people don't seem to think so. I, I, if, if he isn't, he's at least certainly strong enough to be a high ranker. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because you've got Madaraco like bowing down to him and stuff. So, all right, we got a Creek. Ha ha ha! You really surprised me, Lord Karaka. Is this? Yeah. Okay. Oh, he's. Are they pouring? Are they eating tea and crumpets? That's cool. Apparently. Yeah. <laughs> that took there. a turn. <laughs> I thought we were gonna get a fight. I mean, Kel's chilling. I didn't think you were in the station with your teammates, sir. You don't seem very happy to see me. Uh, of course I am. I live to serve a future slayer, sir. So what were you doing there? I got caught up in a battle while I was on the hell train. I didn't think it would turn into such a big deal. Anyway, I owe you one. I like your dragon voice. Oh, thank you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I think this is still correct. Have you heard? I'm <laughs> such <laughs> Oh gosh, this is a mess. I'm all, I'm all giggly now because you said you liked my Karaka well, voice. Well, it's true, it's good. <laughs> Have you heard from the other Slayers? Or Luslek? Freaking Luslek. Okay. Well, you know how it is. We hardly talk no matter what happens to each other. Even our god, Pethamemor Seto, has gone to sleep. Who? Have we heard this name? Pethamemor. Pethamemor Seto. Oh boy. Pefomemor Seto. Pefomemor. Pefomemor Seto. Pefomemor. Is this another Slayer? Pefomemor sounds so wrong. It does. Even our god. Pefomemor Seto. I know there's a Slayer who like, went to sleep, quote unquote, or is like retired, but I don't think it's this one. I don't remember hearing this name at all. So this must be the Slayer that Madaraka worships. I don't know. Maybe he's a higher ranker. <sighs> or maybe he's a god. I don't know. Well, they call their gods He's... slayers, right? Like, Quaryun always calls Bomb god. No, that's right. And Karaka's minions probably call him... No, they call him Lord Karaka. They do. I don't know. I don't know, that's interesting. Okay. Okay, I see. At least I'm safe for now. But there could be still... There could still be some enemies around. I'll just stay with you until I can finally get away from them. Sure. We'll take good care of you, sir. I just love this. Evan Kell, Karaka, and White. Like, the three most... I mean, like, when we first met uh, White on the Hell Train and Karaka, like, at the start of Season 2, and Evan Kell... I don't, I don't know. It's just funny seeing them all seated, seated at the same table with Team Crumpets. Just, well, Evan Kell's there. Yeah, she's just chilling. Uh, ooh, look at this panel. By the way, did you hear about the goods from that guy? So this is the ladle. That he's after the ladle of souls or whatever i'm not even i forget i forget exactly what it does people might kill me for that i i forget if it's um i don't know should i look up what the ladle does i can cut this out if i need to i forget let me see tower of god i feel like this is important to know and it's easy the soul stirring ladle? Yeah, soul stirring ladle. Item owned by. An item with a mysterious power to scoop up soul, uh, souls. Souls, okay. During the creation of the spirit room, the ladle played an important role in binding souls together, which have not united with one person in the souls room. It is also required to extract them back. Okay, according to. According I, to I, it is in. It is currently in possession of Grandessa. The latter had Heljo believe it was broken in two pieces to prevent him from taking it. Mm -hmm. Wariun mentioned that this item is not easily damaged during the events of the death floor. Floor of death. Wariun manage manages to obtain... Sorry, oh, sorry. Same thing as no, me. I am I'm on the same thing now. But keep going. And there's not really not much to it. Yeah, no, she just she managed to obtain the ladle in exchange for his release. It states that Madaraka has been hankering after the ladle for days. So, so it, it plays a role in binding souls and mm -hmm. extracting souls. Right. Which I think was a, a thing on the floor of death because Bomb had all... He still has all these souls in him from when... Uh, Albelda? Is that her name? Uh, the Albelda yeah, the, the, stabbed him with the sword or whatever or gave him all the souls. It's been a while. Yeah. I gotta reread the Hell Train. But anyway, so he's after the ladle... 
and I'm pretty sure he has a thorn fragment, but let's keep going. Why does he want it, I wonder? I wonder oh, yes. Okay. Goods. Or, yes. this is probably white, so he's more like, oh. Goods! No, <laughs> that does not. <laughs> goods! I am Good. a proper gentleman. I am the Slayer, <laughs> white. Oh. Bow down before me. Whips his hand. You want to try that again? Goods. There you go. Yes, I was supposed to get something in exchange for hiding the station and giving him some information. Him. He keeps saying him. Does he not... Has he never actually communicated with Arian, I wonder? Um, in exchange for hiding the station and giving some information, so maybe it's not a thorn fragment. I thought it was, though. Anyway, although I didn't hide you with the expectation of any kind of reward, of course. Uh, what, what was that? What were you going to say? Well, I mean... Is... Did Evan do something? What do you mean? I'm, I mean... I feel like they wouldn't make that kind of mistake. I don't know. Didn't Evan, like, know. make a... Uh, I need to reread that. I know. Last bit. I gotta reread the whole thing, because... I, I think you Evan likes... Freed... Yeah, go ahead. When Evan freed Karaka, mm -hmm. it, and then didn't Madarako show up? And maybe he... I don't know. No. He I don't want... I don't want... Later. I don't want to say anything. <laughs> no, that's okay. No. I, I don't think he showed up till later, but... The other thing is Hockney, right? Doesn't Hockney's picture like show where the where another thorn fragment is? I get so confused. Anyway, people in the comments, if we don't figure this out by the end of this episode, please enlighten us in the comments below. But uh, I'll read for Evan Kell. I saw the next frame. Okay. Ah, you mean this? <laughs> oh shoot. Okay. Okay. So there's the ladle. Ah! My God. Oh, he's like drooling. Jeez. Slurp. He, okay, he really wants this thing. He's got kind of like a, a Levin face right now. He kind of does. You know what? I bet you they're related. You know? Um, I wonder if this is a fake. I wonder if they're going to give him a fake. Wouldn't that be crazy? I mean, he doesn't know. He's just assuming he it's it. Know. Yeah. My god, it's real. The sauce during ladle. Judging from your reaction, I take it this thing must be pretty important, huh? <clears throat> well, I was pretty desperate to get my hands on it. <laughs> All right, I'll give it to you, but wait, if you, I'll give it to you if you want, but on one, I, I love, one condition. I love it, seeing Karaka in character being like, uh, wait, I'll give it, like, he thinks he's so cool, he has to he's restart. Like, he's, he has to restart, it's like, wait, no, I can see that better. Yeah, hold on, I gotta sound cooler. <laughs> oh, one condition, what condition? I goddamn owe that squadron commander from Jihad's army big time in that battle. I need some troops and tips on how to fight him. Oh, jeez. Mm. The oh, elders probably yeah. won't want to get inv involved. There aren't many slayers out there who could stand up to a squadron of Jihad's forces in, in a fight. So oh. he really is has a vendetta against Caliban as well. Because he For good quote, reason. killed. Right, yeah, yeah. We forget that Jin Sung trained Karaka as well. Uh, some trips and tips. Some, tri some trips and tips. Some troops and tips. Okay. Let's keep going. That's why I need some help. Whoa! God. From the Bay Road Yama. The god of fighting dogs. From Bay Road Yama. We haven't heard that. That's the. the, the, the he's a slayer. Who, he's the slayer who made the mad dogs of Yama. Oh. He's the one who made. Uh, or like. The, that guy from the. The guy from the workshop battle, the workshop. Um, B B Baragov or Baragov, depending on the translation, and then Wellstar Elliot from the Hell Train, the one who killed Muntari and stuff. Remember? I do remember. Yeah, he has like he had like the chains. He would he would like lock his opponent in with the chains, but then bomb broke through the chains and stuff. He was really cool, so we're getting him again, and it shows these dogs in the bottom, because they, the mad dogs, there's this theory that there are three mad dogs, I think it's actually confirmed that there are three. So there's Baragov, and then Welsar Elliot, and the theory is that Chang, Chang Blarod is the third mad dog. Well, I mean, if you look at this, if you look at this, mm -hmm. you can see three eyes. Three eyes, I mean, yeah. But you, but you can see... That's true, four. The, the ear, the ear of, of another four. wolf. 
Maybe that's saying there's a fourth mad dog that we don't know about. Perhaps, but then maybe they're just like, hey, <laughs> just I dogs. Put dog. Yeah, let's just put some dogs in here. Okay, that's a cool panel. I love that. Um, Lord Yaba. That's right. I want you to get him to help me. You must know each other, right? Well, yes, but he'll never help you, sir. Then I guess you won't be getting this ladle. Too bad. I'll just have to eat some ramen with it. That's Karaka is like an official good guy now. I love it. Ha, but hold on. Voice crack. Make Bay Road Yama help me, no matter what it takes. We'll do our best to cooperate. If this works, I'll let you have this ladle. Is that clear? <sighs> Can we talk about this chapter? Is so long. We're not even halfway. I love it. Yes. Uh... Oh, we're not halfway. Oh, oh we're not halfway. Oh, I, yeah. I, I'm... Holy crap! I know this is exciting. Yes. Now uh... we go back ten years. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> and then twenty years, and there we just keep going back and back and back. Did you feel the ground shake just now? Did he just warp? What the heck is going on? Who are these? Okay. Oh, this is um. Tra this is your. Uh, is this your uh, and Rachel? I see Rachel's name. Oh, it, no. This is this is no, not Rachel. No, they're talking but. about Rachel. Let's just read. I, I think it could be Traveler and, and someone else. Is it Traveler and Yura? No, Traveler went with Bomb. They they rescued oh, Traveler. That's, that's right. Yeah. They, Travelers with bombs. He's chilling with bombs group, so maybe this. Well, then maybe this is bomb. It's a white lighthouse. Let's just keep reading. I, I like the theorizing though. But who could be? <clears throat> Sorry, I, 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 that was actually clearing my throat. No, not, cool. not trying to. Not that wasn't that meant. Them you're talking to. I didn't mean to shut you up or anything. <laughs> Sorry. No, you're good. Okay, I'll, I'll read this part. The people in the station are panicking. I can't believe. I can't believe a station this big can really warp. What the heck happened around here? Huh. I was waiting to meet up with Rachel. Oh my oh. gosh, it's Apple and Michael! Holy I crap! I don't remember these two. Dude, these are the people who betrayed Kuhn. They were on Kuhn's team. Oh! That they... was so long ago. Dude, oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. These two, we saw these two hoods when they were introducing the regulars and the rankers at the start of the last station arc, when they were showing off like Redbeard and Pinnacle and and like and then Chon Hee Ha, it showed these two in hoods and they were Apple and Michael. So Michael's the one that killed Giatang, the chicken bird dude on, yeah. on Kuhn's, uh, yeah. Kuhn's team. Um, he's oh, a wave God, controller yeah, and that. she's a light bearer scout. She's actually two roles. So, okay, you read for Apple, I'll read for Michael. So much for that plan. <laughs> what are you standing around laughing about? I'm not picking up Rachel's signal at all. She probably didn't warp with the station. You're right. That's not good. He, he calls himself a fake evangelist, so I, I like give him this like fake voice. But so really quick, I, I appreciate what SIU is doing. He's not adding and adding and adding new characters he's actually bringing some back into the story you know what i mean oh, which is I much can't needed see, can't wait to see chun wahong chun wahong <laughs> yeah naray and chun will show up again pericule pops back up we'll please see. please bring back him. please please just think of it as taking a little detour because now we've got a powerful se secret weapon on our side i'm calling it right now this is ghost from season one, <clears throat> Rachel's bodyguard. If if it is, then holy crap, that is a that's a character who hasn't been here since season one. Talk about Shun Wa Hong. This is like a million throwbacks. This is a oh, this is crazy. Okay, but let's keep going. This that that was so cool. Okay. Oh no, they're oh. torturing Traveler. Oh my gosh. Man, you're so damn stubborn. You can. <laughs> Are you going to talk or what? And Darcy. Oh, and Darcy. Oh, you can voice uh, both of them. No, I'll be. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I told you. I don't know anything. <laughs> Seriously. Don't take this thing off me. That was good. Shut up. You expect me to believe you had no idea who those guys were? Uh, the 
whole time you were with them? I had nowhere to go! Nowhere else to go! Okay, pause. Do you believe him? Because I don't. He knew, right? He knew who they were. Yeah. Yeah. And his goal is to find Emily? Or is that not his goal anymore? That was his goal at first. He was, like, in love with, quote-unquote, Emily, the robot ignition weapon thing. So... We don't really know what his deal is, so let's, let's keep that Actually, that's true. Yeah. Maybe he doesn't know. Maybe he legit doesn't know. Maybe, well, but, I'm, but I'm I'm putting that at like 75 to 25. Yeah, yeah. 75, he knows what he's doing, 25 totally. maybe. Totally, yeah. I think he he knew that they were bad news, but he did it anyway, because of his, whatever his agenda is. Literally, he was there when like... He was yeah. there when... The whole time, he the was Hell there train, when you know? Arkrafter and Prince died. Like, yeah. You know, like, he knew what was happening. Anyway, we see a knock. It's been a while. Is... Wait, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, she's on the nose! Yeah! <laughs> I'll, okay, I'll voice a knock, so you, you do these two. Cut the bullshit! No! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was in was Endorsey good. and screamed at the end. Um, that was bad. <laughs> no, no, that was good. That was good. Oh! Hurry up and... Okay, sorry. I was, I was, I was like, let me <laughs> hurry up and tell me what was, what was Rachel going to do with Emily? Okay, so she does know about Emily and Traveler. Hey, you'll end up killing him before you can get anything out of him. Hey, Anak. Stop messing around with him and just kill him. Rachel's done for now anyway. Why do you want to know? What do you? Why do you want to know so badly? <laughs> These travelers freaking out. Because she said she'll kill him. So Rachel, but Rachel is not done. Because she, she's getting three wishes from you staying. I, I have <laughs> not forgotten about those three wishes. I'm so excited for her three wishes. Yeah, I, oh, I had a comment that had a good theory. They, they had a theory that one of the wishes could be to look beautiful. Possibly to look like the character in the data world. Um, another wish could be power and... Or like the thorn fragment. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Um, I don't know but look at this about. phone. The oh. alarm keeps going off. I can't see his chat logs because I don't know the password. That's weird. But I know he's hiding something. Thank goodness we're getting some traveler. Okay. Good thing he has lines. Yeah, right? <laughs> That's good. It is okay. good. I bet you anything Rachel isn't the only one behind this. I'm gonna make him tell me the password if it's the last thing I do. Wow. Oh, we're getting okay. We're oh, so this is still the two-year flashback because I just saw Shibisu's team. Spoilers. All right, ready, everyone? Yep. Oh, that was Evan. Well, okay. <laughs> Wait, who's? Oh, uh, Evan's talking now. Shibisu's like, yep. Okay. Who said? Who's saying this one? There's all. <laughs> there's always a loud one in every group. I never like the loud ones. They're useless. <laughs> I won't disappoint <laughs> you. Oh gosh. Oh, Laurel's okay, there too. Then. Oh yeah. La that's La that's actually Laro. Yeah, like actually what Laro. What's he doing? He he's just chilling, and it looks like that must be hot on the right that we can't see. Hmm. No, we did he not see Laro in that in that uh, panel from before at the start of the chapter. Okay, well, you know what? I'm glad he wasn't forgotten. Yes, me too. Yes, I'm glad I, this is this is nice. This is. SIU is like, hey, remember this character? Well, here he is. Yeah, and he's doing it with a lot. He's doing it with Traveler, Ghost, or I'm assuming it's Ghost, Apple, Michael. This is cool. Okay, then. Now we're going to look for Wan Yeon so we can wake up, wake Kun up. Okay, cool. And I'm sorry to say it, but this could be a long journey. Yeah. What? I talked with Wool Hike Song yes yesterday. Oh, flashback, okay. So many flashbacks. Flashbacks within flashbacks. There are so many, actually, actually <laughs> but it's not Tower of God if there aren't flashbacks that, inside flashbacks. It's true, it's true. And what's the name of our opening for the dub? Uh, the new name of the opening of the dub? Yeah. You know what the name of the song is? What? Flashback. Oh. I don't know, I just thought of that for some reason. So, it's pretty cool. Anyway, okay, keep going. <laughs> what? He suddenly left? When? Where? Where did he go? Apparently they haven't heard from Wu and Yian since he left on a trip decades ago. 
It sounds like he used to go on a lot of trips like this, but this time they've lost all contact with him, so they don't even know where he is now. Uh, it could take a long time to find him this time, even with even for a guide like me. So, brace yourselves. Got it. Wait. Oh, that, that that's sheepy suit. Okay, got it! And then he's saying that. Would you stop yelling like that? You're freaking me out. <laughs> okay, let's get going. Here we go! <laughs> Come on. Quit yelling. Uh, oh, and it's confirmed! You can see Kuhn on Amigo Charge's back. In the yeah, case. It's so see through there. It is. There must be a setting to make it not see through. Um, or, may, or maybe, you know, there's no setting and he just wraps it in the blanket. That's also a good point. So we have Evan, oh, Shibisu, Hots, yeah. Rack, Vespa, Nigo Chars, and Laro, even though we don't see him there. Someone's probably. Ca oh, oh, I, I. Hold on, I'm gonna go back really quick. I bet you Vespa's carrying Laro. I uh, saw the next frame. Uh oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, she's not. Okay, okay, I'm going back down. I'm going back down. I just want to check. Next frame, we have some planes. And then. <gasps> They're saying good. The oh, okay. To, to those guys. I thought Sachi and Boro were. Are they leaving? They're going on a journey. Are they? I guess this means goodbye. I guess this is a goodbye. Too bad, huh? Those guys were amazing. <sighs> Still, we're doing the right thing leaving leaving like this, I mean. Climbing the tower altogether is too dangerous. No! But actually, it's sure kind of okay. Into the... Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it makes sense. Yeah, it does. We've had so, we've had so much Boro. And yeah, and... No Sashi. Mm, no, so much Boro comicalness instead of awesomeness, and then... Sachi, yeah. But like, I hope they don't. I hope they're not gone forever. No, they're not gone forever. Oh, he even says it right here. I'm sure we'll run into them again on on the tower someday. Okay, okay. Well, you have to admit, Sachi looks like a badass here. I love his hair, and his earring. It, it's like he. It's like one side of his hair grew out longer than. It is. He cut it that way on purpose. Totally. Oh, of course. Yeah, he, he styles Crap. his hair like three hours every morning. But dang, that's kind of sad though. I've got I'm just so used to them being in in Bomb's core team. It's gonna be really weird. But Hockney, I'm Hockney's still there. I'm not super sad. I'm not. Yeah, super sad. you're not. You're not. Okay. I'm not too sad. All right. I don't want them to die though. I mean, I doubt they will if if they're gonna run into them again. I like Boro, and Sachi is is my you know. He's, he's my meme boy. He's my spirit animal. He's he's the boy who I I say, hey, is he gonna do anything yeah. in this episode? No, he's not gonna do anything in this episode. Hey, never. hey, 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 hey. He saved Hockney from, from the say, octopus. Don't I knew you were gonna bring up the octopus. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, Coon's plan was gonna be ruined. Plant <laughs> staff. It's a spell that he he practiced for a hundred years or something. Yeah, I bet. He said that. Man, that plant sure is useful. Hey, I'd hey, rather hey, have... hey. He's top three D rank regular. You can't, you can't, you can't shun. You can't ignore that. Oh man, I, I studied the plant a thousand years, and and then bomb like twenty minutes. Did the Hansung Yu wave blast, <laughs> which is infinitely more useful. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, would that blast have saved Hockney? Uh, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Say. It's hard to see. I don't. I don't know how invincible that octopus was. Yeah, that's fair. In a digital world. In a data. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Sachi had one, and it wasn't even that great. <laughs> it feels so <laughs> bad. I don't hate. I don't hate it Sachi. It sounds like you're hating the Sachi. So I hard. don't hate him. I don't. I just. I was like, wow, he got introduced. He's so cool. He's like the ticket hunter, right? Top, top, you know? top three. Like, He's the ticket hunter. Regular. regular. Yeah. He goes on the train and then he shows up and he's like, and then he becomes a spectator. <laughs> he just becomes a spectator for the whole, yeah. But it's cool that both of them are sticking together. And I hope that when yeah. they come back, they're like super cool and, and, and I don't know. So so that means Boro and Sachi are in their own little group. Quetro and Chang are in their own little group. Me saying, and we don't know about Wang Nan if he's left yet, but. Because Wang Nan and Miseng wanted to leave at the end of the last episode, but then Karaka like stopped them. So it makes me wonder what's, what's going on there. But then there's also Ewa and Danwa, who 
right. That's what I want to know about. Yeah, I bet you we're going to get them. Because that's how you're showing everybody. But we'll see. We'll see. Let's keep going. That was a nice trip. Aww. Rumble, rumble, You have rumble. to admit, that's kind of sad. It's not, like, depressing. It's just kind of like, aww. Bye, guys. I mean, they, they went out on their own terms. Yeah, exactly. They're like, hey, we're going to be stronger. Yeah, we don't exactly. want to We don't want to slow put everyone down. in danger. Yeah. I like that. But we're getting the eater, to, uh, the the Ponsicles. Drac. I forgot that like they have Drac with them, and then there's Eater Day. Uh, Laura would get along with those, those two. How many blankets? <laughs> right. Oh One, God. two, three, four, five, five six, six, seven, eight. Oh my gosh! You're Unless right. The blue one on the top and the right are the same one. No, I don't think so. Oh, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. At least eight blankets. And then Barrow Barrow. When the heck are those two going to wake up? All they do is sleep. So we, okay, we even got the, those kids. See, I feel like we'll get everybody in this chapter. We'll get Hawk too. I guarantee it. Here we go. Okay. Are you sure you don't want to see your companions off? That's okay. We already said goodbye. Really? When did you say goodbye? I don't know. I wish I could have seen them off. But this is no time to be thinking about goodbyes. That's mature the bomb. Alright, this is seems like a weird time to introduce bomb. Oh my gosh, you're right. We're over halfway, and this is the first time. Whoa. I didn't even realize that. Okay, let's keep going. I think the best type of training is real combat. So if you want to learn from me. You've got a lot of fighting to do. Okay, I like this because it's not just like, here's how you perfect your orb, and here's how you perfect your Shinsu Black Hole Sphere, and here's how you perfect the, the Wave Blast. Like, she's actually training him in combat in general. That's cool. You have to fight everyone now. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Like, your one trick isn't going to work. Um, okay. This is a list of battlefields you can take a stab at now. You might have some, you might have some luck in a few of these places, but there are others where you'd get slaughtered in seconds if you went there now. I organized them in order of difficulty. Wow. Of level of difficulty. That's kind of cool. She's the perfect training <laughs> training person. It's almost like a hyperbolic time champ. It for is her. a little bit, yeah. Now, every time you clear a battlefield, at each difficulty level. I'll teach you something at that level. I don't just go around handing out advice. <laughs> wow, okay, that's cool. That that doesn't make it so it's like free, you know, free bomb level up. It is cool. And but I mean it is gonna be kind of a free bomb level up because well, this yeah. is a year I mean, before. I mean and, for and bomb. two years later. <laughs> I mean for bomb though, it's not just like train, 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 you know, it's like he has to earn it. Okay. I'll i I'll ask I'll ask you this question. Yeah. Two years later? Do you think he's gonna get all the battlefields done? Yes. Yes? Yes. Ooh, I don't know. I can see that being like the final panel. Like That'll be the thing. Like now it? that you've cleared every battlefield, let's go. Or something like that. I don't know. But it makes me I wonder. hope it's not bad. I, I wanna see not either. Anything. Yeah. Let's, let's see. This is this is telling, not showing. We right. need to see the, the him him train. Yeah, exactly. We need to see him like get almost destroyed by one of these. I want to see. These I would love that. Yeah. This is actually a really interesting thing this that is, I want to see. I really hope we see. It's it. like, hey, we have a hundred battlefields that you can just fight in. Yeah. Um, this is the hardest one over here. Uh, you can fight Sephiroth in this one. <laughs> you can. <laughs> you can. Yeah, yeah. Wait, let's wait fight. to do that one. Uh, you got yeah. Jiren. Jiren in this one uh, from Dragon Ball yeah. Super. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, here we have Dracula. If you want to fight him, he's <laughs> he, he's a bit of a tough one because he comes back a lot. Uh huh. Yeah. Mewtwo from Pokemon in this one. Oh, and, and in this one we we have the literal Joker. <laughs> the Joker. I mean, he's, he, he's annoying. He's 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 more he's of a gimmicky annoying. fight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would be. I would love that. See, this, this, this thing's cool. Yeah, it is. There's so I many like possibilities. It. Okay, cool. Sorry, what was it? Okay, handing out advice, reaction. Oh. And as of this moment, you're not allowed to have fun. 
You're not allowed to use the Thorn or Black March until I say so. You need to train your basic skills more. Later, when you're ready, I'll tell you when you can use them again. By then, you'll be a very different warrior. Wow, I wonder if he's... Because we saw that picture of him with the bangs, like the sideburns, sideburns I mean. I wonder if he'll be totally different. Perhaps. But Evan Kell is so scary in this she next battle. She is panel. so scary. Your orbs and Shinsu will be on, an whole, on a whole other level. But first, you have to go through some seriously brutal training. You might even end up getting killed yourself. Getting yourself killed. <laughs> well, I think you got what it takes. <laughs> I don't have time to go looking for justice. Or a reason to get stronger right now. All I'm after is Kalavan. This is cool. Kalavan wasn't just an arc villain. He's like... Kalavan was set up so good in the last so arc. So good. Like, so good. And like... Bomb didn't really have a motive after the whole Rachel thing to climb, other than his friends. But now he actually has a motive, you know what I mean? His yeah. motive was just to get stronger to protect his friends or whatever. Now it's like, no, I want to kill Kalavan. That's cool. Like, he got pat- like, yeah. Like, it, it was it was basically even around the last arc where he was like, I've, I've surpassed you, Rachel. I mean, yeah. My, yeah. Need, my need to find you. Yep, and he was like, goodbye. He said goodbye to her. There's a couple this is a really good- that. Yeah, and this is like a really good, uh, way to, to fill that kind of yes, void for him to keep climbing, you know? Exactly. And it's like something you wouldn't expect from Bomb. Like, you wouldn't expect Bomb's motive. Like, Bomb, the sweet cinnamon roll to be revenge. You know? It's cool. I like it. It is really cool. But I, I, I mean, I just saw I've told you this before. It's hype. Yeah, yeah. I, I've told you this before, but I think Sean Jin Sung Ha should have died. Yeah, we can talk about that after. We'll have a little discussion yeah. after about, about that. Because I agree with you, but we'll, we'll talk about that. Um, this panel is so hype. This is the last time we're going to see him looking like this. I'm calling it now. He's going to grow out his hair and stuff like that image. As long but watch as it not. Stronger, I'll do anything. Don't say that, man. I'm calling <laughs> it. Nope. What did I say? Several months later. I knew it. I called it. Um, I can't. I can't believe that bastard Levy. Levy. He practically begged me to let him handle this. And now he's MIA. I knew we should have let we shouldn't have left this left a sleaze ball like him in charge of anything, Captain. What? Who are these guys? Anyway, anyway I, I'll read this. I, I can't. I, I think it's someone separate. So, anyway, enough about him. What really matters is that guy named Juvial Grace. From what I've heard, he went into battle with some rankers to rescue his companions and came out alive. What? You've got to be kidding me, Captain! Who the heck is this? He's a regular! How could a regular even dream of fighting rankers? I didn't see it myself either, so it could be a load of crap. Either way, it wouldn't hurt to be careful. Who is this? This is a new character, I think. Whoa. 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 Uh-oh. It's too... We know who those are. We do. Oh, shoot! It's Danwon Ewa! Yes, it is. Shoot! I didn't even... I was like... I was looking at Ewa. Is it Awa. weird that I knew? Is it weird that I knew because of the sword on the ground? Yeah, yeah, that's that's how it kind of clicked <laughs> for me too. They they just dressed so differently. But oh my gosh, okay, we did, we got Ewa though. We we knew we'd get Ewa. That's cool. Anyway, uh, that is good. Oh shoot, is they don't look dead? At least Ewa's not dead. No. Um, did you get our bargaining chip? Of course. I'll read. Who are you, you people? You, you go ahead. Yeah, you go ahead. Why are you doing this to us? Ewa, uh, best girl, oh best girl, except me. Her and Who's this me, boy? I, know. I don't know. Because you're character. Juvial Grace's companions, obviously. I guess you could say. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Whoa! You picked the wrong guy to make friends with. <laughs> okay, so he's hey, like Cal, him. is there any way to shut that girl up? Maybe I should poison her some more. It kind of looks like a, an REA, or yeah, an REA. I don't know. Yeah, actually. But let's let's see. Well, what's he doing? Ah! Ah! Fud. 
What? Did he just- What? Did he just attack Ewa? There's blood in the background, um, too. Or did he- Did he kill Danwa? I don't know. I have no idea. That- I- I think maybe that's- it's- it's a red herring, because- Yeah, 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 yeah. Possibly. It's not a- Okay. okay. I'll, I'll explain my reasons later, but we'll... we'll okay, okay, yeah. We'll, we'll do a full review of, of this chapter after we... All right. Let's go, Kel. I'm going to teach that juvial Grace a lesson. I'll kill that brat for daring to fight a ranker. She's bleeding, so so he... He at least cut her up a bit. Shoot. Two years later, the present... Wait a minute, so what's their bargaining chip? I'm, I'm sure they left... They're okay, leaving well, them. I... They're leaving them. I don't understand. I thought the bargaining chip was going to be like holding them hostage, but they're like leaving them behind. Let me go back for a sec. You picked the wrong guys. They're going to shut that girl up. I don't know. That's weird. I don't think she's dead. That would be a weird. There's no way she is because they wouldn't. Have... It would be much more dramatic. I don't know. What do you think? I mean. It could, he could, like, this could be, I don't know, this could be a later floor, and then he finds her dead or something, but I don't know, that seems, there's no way that, that seems Ava, really anticlimactic for Ava. It would be way, there's no way she's dead, he just, like, shut her up, it looks like, quote unquote. Is Dom dead, though? There was no blood, so, unless he just killed him, but that would also be, I mean, Dan was not that important, but it would well, what if they make Don one born? What if he killed? What if he actually killed? What if Donwa okay, and Shunwa meet up? That'd here's the cool. thing: Don yeah. Donwa is not a companion of Bomb. Not really, no. Maybe they, maybe he, they left him alive. Well, no, because if you go back, they say, they say, because you're Juvial Grace's companions. Oh yeah. Why are you doing this to us? It is pluraled. Yeah, I think they they must think he is just because he traveled with them for a little. But I mean, it would okay. If it wasn't plural, then and we 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 think back, then he would have killed Ewa, and then Donwa would be alive, and then maybe Donwa would run up the tower and be like, "Bomb, listen, there's this really creepy snake dude with poison, and this guy with a mask, and he's he's looking for you, right. and all your companions." Oh, I could actually kind of see that, like him, because it looked like he was just unconscious, so he could like. He could like take care of Ewa and then run up and get bomb or something. Well, actually, think about this. Wang Nan is going back a bunch of floors to like the thirtieth floor that the workshop battle was. So maybe mm. they will find Danwa. I see. I, I see already. Yeah, because they're going back. You know what I mean? We're. I think that these guys, Mr. Snake Boy and Kel, yeah. are going to be the arc villain. For Wingnan, probably. Oh, that'd be cool. I'd like that. I'd like that. I mean, if I had to guess. Yeah, right. And it's all speculation. I don't know for sure. This is just not my brain works. Uh, no, speculation is great, but let's keep keep going. Okay. Yes. Two years later, the <laughs> present. Okay. The present. The 52nd floor. 52nd tower. Dog shelter. Is this where the... You got a very mad... Kingdom Hearts vibe from yeah, this place. Yeah, yeah. Is this where the... the... Yama lives? The 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 slayer they're just talking about? The, the mad we'll king to, mad dog Yama. We'll have to see who shows up. If it is Karaka in the next few frames, then Yeah, well yes. we'll look at who's this blue haired person. Oh. Who's running away, it looks like. Or, or chasing someone. Come on, get him! It's the new protagonist I was he telling went you. That about. way! Are, no, this looks like. Oh, this is bomb in his. Is this bomb like training mode? Is this bomb? It looks kind of like him. He went that way. Let's keep going. This is the. This is. This isn't the training mode because this is the fifty-second floor. Oh, that's true. But then, did it skip? The mode? Let's just keep going. It's the new protagonist. I swear, if it's the new protagonist, <laughs> I'm gonna be not mad, but like, wow. Okay, let's keep going. We get this beautiful scenery. He's climbing a ladder. Oh my thing. gosh, it's not bomb. It is not. Wait, okay, he's going down a ladder. He's now he's oh he's going down, right, right, thud. Stop right there! Yeah. <laughs> that was so oh, bad. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
really <laughs> good at Sioux Falls. Go ahead and say ugh. 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 You're a real pain like in the ass, shoes. you know that? You like his what? I like his red shoes. Sorry. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> That's I the like, one I thing like you noticed. I was thinking I about noticed, his hair. I noticed, in the, I noticed his red shoes and the ugh, and I was like, oh yeah, it's nice. That's cool. They You're go well with the background. The ass, you know that? Yeah, they... Do they? I felt like they kind of clashed with the background. It's like, I, 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 don't, it I don't know if I like your fashion choice. Um, hang on, what? That, How could you? We'll talk Black and red? Yeah. Black well, and red? No, but like gray. His What's hair is like that? gray and stuff. I don't know. It's not really black How either. He's like a blue shirt. Dark. Blue How dare shirt. you talk about Noctis Lucius Calum like that? Does he have red shoes? Oh, this is, he does have red shoes. Um, he does? I'm on the All next right. frame. Yep, you're really painting the ass, you know that? This looks like a lane, kind of. It is it is not, I don't think. No, it isn't, yeah. I've been working day and night for the last few days thanks to you. Be a good boy, come here now. Intern at the dog shelter, C rank regular, Shia Lulu. Shia, it kind of reminds me of Shia, Shia. Is she going to be an animal? Shit! Shit! This is the dog shelter? What, what, what? Shit! What? That's the next frame. Next frame. Oh! <laughs> I was like, sh I was like, what? What'd you see? Uh, where are you going now? And then, oh, okay, tons of explosions. Oh. What? How are you, how are we supposed to react to that? Ugh. Who, who's shooting that big blue beam? Oh, it's someone else. Wow, I finally... Here, you, you read. Wow, I finally found you. <laughs> Alright, you, you both. I, I feel like this might be... No, talking is white hair. Yeah, I don't know. I'm glad I finally met... This I'm is the last scene. I managed to find you before you... Before you got caught. An outsider? Who's he? Is that an animal on her shoulder? Oh... <laughs> Who is it? Oh... <gasps> Okay. Oh new my protagonist. Gosh. This is not a new. Pro this is Bomb. New protagonist is hanging out with Bomb. That's how they did season two. The very end of the first episode. It was the end of the first episode of season two, right? Of the, I'm like shocked. Bomb. They they go into the. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's the first episode. That's how it ends, I think, with uh, Viol standing over the the bodies. Oh my gosh. Well, first of all. What do you think of Bomb's new design? Because we'd already seen it on the, the cover page, but now that you're seeing he's it, rocking, close, he's rocking the ponytails. He's rocking the. Is it two ponytails? Does kind of look like that? I think it is two. I think ponytails. it's two. And then the side, they're not sideburns, but his hair comes over. He looks kind of like Coon with that yeah, hair. It reminds me more of uh, Gustang. Yes. When I saw him at first, I was like. Is that a, someone from the Pope down? Like, for a split second. And even if you go back when you see him with the suit, is that like a suitcase or a bag that he's carrying? I. So, why is he after this guy? That's what I'm because like. Because he's, spe he's special. Hold on. Because he's, he's the new protagonist. Well, that doesn't. <laughs> uh huh. Well, so. Now that, okay, someone commented on one of my chapters. I want to know, on the recent dub video, I think, and they said a name. That maybe is this new protagonist. They said, hold on, blah, blah, blah. because that's all everybody's been talking about lately is this new chapter. And I haven't seen any spoilers except for. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Awesome, Serena, the newest chapter. The new bomb looks amazing, is what someone said. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is kind of important. Not really, but. Um, thank you for watching. I don't know. I think I think someone mentioned the name Wong, Wong, though. Like for some reason that name is standing out to me. Wong. Wong. Yeah. I. F I feel like I saw that name somewhere. Wong, and I'm wondering if that's because some people get the get the, like the raw chapters early. And I'm yeah. wondering if that... For now, let's call this new guy Wong. Just because, for some reason, I feel like that probably... Fit. They said something like, I can't wait to see how strong Bomb and Wong is. Or something like that. 
Maybe SIU, uh, yeah, maybe he, maybe he confirmed the name of the this unknown post. guy. Maybe in a blog post. Is there a blog post out for this chapter? I don't know. But, I'm um, not sure either. But let's I want to okay. go back to a, yeah. I want to go back to a frame. Sure, sure. Uh, when he's climbing down the ladder. Okay. Uh, and yes. then he jumps off the ladder in the thud, and there's a little bit of blue smoke thing. Oh, yeah. Is that an ability? I did or not is that, notice is that. Is that just dust? It doesn't really look like dust. And is there any kind of family that has this kind of power? It looked like he was jumping from maybe up high, so they needed to protect him. I mean, it, the only thing it kind of reminds me of is Yura's sparkles, but I highly doubt there's any connection there. Um, well, from the from the your from, from like kind of like Yurahas. Yeah, Yurahas. Yeah, that's the only thing. But I, I, it doesn't look the same. It's just no. the only thing that it made me think of was sparkles or fairy dust or whatever. Stop right there. Did he did he use any abilities at all? Because there, there was a big blast, and we now know that that blast was bomb. Yeah. Which makes sense because it looks like a Han Sung Yu attack. With the water, because Hansung kind of uses like a water water sheen suit. Kind of looks like that. Oh, I mean, Bum Bum spent a lot of time mastering that attack. He did, yeah. Are you okay? Okay, we gotta read the top three comments. Um, oh wow, the top comment. Why does Bomb's hairstyle look like Coons? <laughs> that they read the whole chapter, Confirm. and that was the comment that they <laughs> that they typed. Um, number number one comment. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, honest honest question. No, yeah, totally. I'm not. I'm just saying it, it's funny. Um, OMG, All it's back. Shit, Mondays right. have meaning again. Yeah. Uh, it's finally back. Yes. Um, gosh. Oh, I need to say it like, it's finally back. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that was Thank good. Thank you so much for the top comment on my favorite webtoon. It's my first top comment, lol. LOL. Um, so I like these two comments. Bomb is in the middle between Bomb and Viol. He is now Bomol. <laughs> I W Bomol. <laughs> That's oh boy. <laughs> and then <laughs> And then SIU, you better draw Ewa being completely fine the next chapter. <laughs> yes, please. I don't know about that one. Thinking about it more? I like the idea of of her being of Danwa, dead. of Danwa having a better role, bigger role because she Now that I've seen. Yes. I mean, maybe it's just like I mean, she's gotten a lot of characterization in the fast arcs. She and, has. And you know, sometimes you just gotta rip off the band-aid of the fan base who really no, liked Awa. I liked no. her a lot too. I liked her a lot she's too, but what was she gonna do? Yeah. I don't disagree, <sighs> but. I like, they've had. SIU seems I to be getting everything so. together. Because whenever a character dies, it's a big deal. SIU. Yeah, you know what? That's true. And you know what? Yeah. Han SIU didn't kill Jin Sung Han. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. We should talk about that now. So, yeah. So before we go over this chapter, actually, no, let's save that till the end. Let's go over the chapter first before we talk yeah, about okay. Jin Sung. Um, so, so basically, I'm okay. I'm gonna scroll up here. Let's divide this. So we have the very first scene, which is one year later with Wang Nan and Mi Sang meeting up with Go Sang. And we see only on the back of Horyang. That is so teasing. Teasing. And so. Kasuno. And Kasuno. Freaking Kasuno. The Kasano. character who we did not expect to see at all. No, I like, I... That, so he's just been chilling there for like a few years? I guess. Well, this is a year. This is, okay, wait, this is one year after. Right, but they've... So two years up, later. If you scroll up, it says... Someone said something. It says, out of the blue... By the way, Kasuno showed up here out of the blue a few years back, saying he'd let Horyang live. So he's been chilling there for a few years. Which means it's been a few years since White dismissed him from the group. What guy. Didn't he didn't he dismiss him because Wang Nan threw a, a, a Shinsu bomb at him and it like hurt him because it was designed to hurt ignition weapons? That that um, was yeah, so well, like what? Well yeah, okay, this is what what happened was um he he. Uh, after they finished fighting, and it, and it did hurt Cosmo. Yeah. White White basically decided if you get hurt by that, you're you're too weak to be hanging guess, out with us. Yeah. Because it was long enough. Like, so you can just get out of here. You're useless, Cosmo. And then after that, I was like, dude, he's gonna come back really, really strong. Yeah, but no. He just kind of gave up. He just kind of like. He did. 
walked down to the 30th floor. I hope he's not a good guy. I like I like the idea of him. They'll make him an anti-hero. Well, first of all, to save Horyang, doesn't he have to give him back the power of the devil or whatever? That's the only way he could wake him up. So now Constantine is really half as strong. Works. I'm pretty sure... You know, he said he's going to come back stronger. I'm pretty sure he's half as strong now. Yeah. And Horyang he, is back. He know. cuts power in half. And Horyang is like... He's strong, but he hasn't really had. He hasn't trained in like years. He's been sleep. He's been sleeping for been for a while. Sleeping beauty. Yeah. Um, but it is good to see Gosang again too. Uh, she just looks like the same old. Gosang. She looks exactly the same, which I like. I, you know, she just has a very simple design. Her big old goofy glasses. Um. Now what Wang Nan? He has a new costume, a new outfit. I find it so strange that he's like. He's all broody, and he has his head down, and you don't see his eyes. And then he's shocked, and then he's really yeah, happy. I mean, he hasn't seen Horyang in years, but yes, I agree. It, hold on, so let's talk really quick about the sword. So he has this sword that, that he has to kill someone with it. Right? The sword was yes. like, to, to, for you to use me or whatever, you must, let's make a deal. You kill this person for me. Do we know, do you have any theories about who it is? Because it's not Karaka, because he would have tried to kill Karaka when he encountered him. Who would it be? It's not Kasa. It's not Rachel. It's not Rachel. I don't know. Maybe it's White or something? I don't know. I don't think it's... I don't, I don't know if it's a Ranker. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I knew, that was just something I, I had thought of. But anyway, that was, the, that was how the episode opened. And then we cut to the desert, and there's all these dudes who are saying that Woon Eon is hiding. So this 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 episode is pretty much all set up, which I like. It was like, hey, this is what season three is going to be about. All this stuff. But, Did Hots even get a line in this episode? No, not a single line. Poor guy. I know. Rip. <laughs> but at, at least we got to see Hots. We got to see Laro later. We got to see Amigo Chars. He has these little black horns. Um, Shibi Sue's back to being his goofy self. Vespa. Evan being a badass. Evan is, baby, is babysitting everyone. He's just babysitting everyone, yep. Um, so what do you think about that That whole thing? Like, even cutting back to later, like, when they leave, what, what did you think about all that? About the, about this whole uh, second scene? Like, Shibi Sue and Evan's team. Like, yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, I enjoyed it. Yeah. I enjoyed seeing it. Although I don't know, not even I don't think even Rack gets a line. He doesn't. No, I think that's, it's just Shibisu and Evan. That's unfortunate. That is a little unfortunate. No, no, no. Rack does get a line. He says no. He doesn't. I thought he said what's he saying here, but no, that's Shibisu. Dang. We need more Rack. Yeah. Much more rack. Also, it also ends with a, like a thing of light. Oh yeah, it, yeah, it totally. Is. It's not Evan Kill. It can't be. No, it, it's not. It is can't it, be. Is it Woon Yan coming out of hiding? Part of me wants to say no. Also. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't really but look like know, a flame. No, no. It doesn't. You know, it looks like a beam of light as opposed to like a pillar of flame, which is the Yan. I almost think it's more like. Do you remember when Yuri did the atomic punch? Yes, yes. The special? It does That's look what it kind like of reminds that. Me of. It looks like that. It's, a wave. it's or... almost like a weapon of mass destruction. Right, exactly. Yeah, totally. Um, maybe it's someone being summoned there, like someone teleporting there or, or something of that sort. It also kind of reminds me uh, a much, not of the same level, but of Charlie's whole shtick with his light attacks. Because um, he's oh. the only character we've seen who uses like light sheets too. Uh, particularly, so I don't know. That's interesting. I'm not sure either. I'm trying to see if maybe they talk about why Wan Yan is gone. Yeah, I don't. Oh, why wait, later, hiding. like later. Um... What's a ranker like him doing here? We get attacked by pterodactyls. Well, like if no, you they, cut don't, to they don't later. get to explain. No, and if you cut to later, they don't even say it. He suddenly left. Where'd he go? They haven't heard from him since he left on a trip for decades. He used to go on a lot of trips like this, but this time they lost contact with him. So he could be in trouble, actually. 
But no, they said he's hiding. Yeah, hiding. Quote unquote. That's what I'm wondering about. Maybe they've captured him. See, this is okay. This is how my brain works. Yeah. For this moment. Okay. Okay. There, are, there are these locals. Yep. Who, who are like indigenous, and and they're like, they have their own language. Mm -hmm. And then there's a big destructive beam of light. Well, and, and the, the the locals are hostile too to people. Yeah. So I mean, it almost kind of seems like it's gonna be, Shibi Sue's group versus, I don't know. Yeah, but Jihad's, the... Jihad's army oh, on that floor or something. Oh shoot! Like Jihad's army showing up. I don't. I mean, I don't know if if why exactly he's hiding, but. So. I mean, the you... only thing I can think of is like maybe he's hiding from Fug or he's hiding from Jihad, and that I mean yeah. Fug is after Jihad, so it, he has no reason to hide from. I don't know. He has no reason yeah. to hide from. Him. I'm not sure. Let us leave Jihad. I think there are two. So, out of these two options, what do you think? Do you think this beam of light is coming from the refugees or the, the, the natives? Or do you think it's coming from another source? I think it's another source. Another, like a third party. A source that the, the reason the natives are so hostile is because of this source. I don't know. Oh, totally. Yeah, yeah. Because they're freaking you out. Know? Yeah. That's possible. But then, I don't know. Because that seems maybe even a little too complex for, for, for it. No, I maybe, think that maybe makes Maybe it's too much complexity. I don't think so. I just, just looking for a dude, and then it's like, oh man, we got these, this weird uh, land drama thing, you know? Right. Well, there has to be a conflict for Shibisu and Evan's group, so it looks like mm -hmm. it's whatever this is. Um, it could like even it be like the be, floor owner be, showing up or something. Oh, you know what? It could even just be like, I don't know, Wan Yeon is like trapped or something, and then like more more denizens of the floor are using him i guess as yeah. a weapon but then i don't know i'm not sure but anyway that was that whole thing and i, I liked that i think it was a good just you know it's so out yeah it's so open that it could literally be anything it totally yeah there's there's not much speculation you can do here but i think we pretty much covered most of the options it could be a giant beam of light that hands everyone lunch you know it could be <laughs> I suppose. It's possible. It is possible. Um, and then they all have a friendly dinner afterwards. With tea and crumpets, which is the next scene here with Madarako. It, it, it might be. That's, that's a good yes. good segue. Um, we have Mar <laughs> Madarako, yes. who is about to attack them. Let's point that out. He was about to plunder them, and then White and Evan Kell and Karaka show up. And we get this whole scene where they basically say, you're not getting the ladle until you let us talk to Bayrod Yama, which I think is cool because Bayrod Yama was talked, he wasn't really talked about that much, but the mad dogs were like this thing for a while. And I'm glad that they aren't being left behind. Like again, I, I like the theory that Chang is actually the third mad dog or the fourth. Like you were talking about that theory about there's like a, there's like a secret fourth dog. Um, don't uh don't don't look too much into that. It well, could just be <laughs> oh, he wanted to draw four dogs. Well, yeah, but know. there's only three that we know of, so it's... I don't know. I don't know. But I, I do like the idea that Chang... Because when, when they were on the Hell Train, Yuri was talking about each group. She said that Barrow Barrow had an ignition weapon that she wasn't using. She said that uh, Chang was hiding his power, and she didn't know why. So it could be... Because we've never seen Chang fight. Never. Except against Jin Sung, because they were slowing him down for Bomb to escape that one time. And he, like... barely even it, well, yeah, but but there was there was talk that like Chang when he showed up, Jin Sung like kind of noticed him more because he I think he's stronger than we think. He's still just a regular, but he could be a mad dog, which would be pretty cool. Um, so what do you think about Madaraco and Karaka stuff? Um, the Madaraco and Karaka stuff. Um, I didn't have too many thoughts on this one. Me neither. It was pretty fairly straightforward. It wasn't bad didn't like stand out that much it was just kind of like oh okay this is where the plot is was going it, it was interesting at the beginning it's like oh it'd be a good idea to steal from them now right while they're yeah, down i didn't really expect that like, since he i almost feel like i almost yeah. feel like this, they should have started attacking and then karaka like shows up and kills a bunch of his dudes and it's like that would be cool and he's like hey don't ever do that again something like that. And he's like oh, i'm so sorry lord karaka and then he and then he would act like this you know right right like, of course I am. I, I live to serve food slayers, sir. Mm -hmm. Right? That would have been interesting. Maybe... 
It, it didn't even have to be Karaka killing them. But right. Probably Evankel would be more. Because I know Fugu aren't about killing each other. We've had a lot of ranker fights. It probably would have been... I don't know. I think SIU's trying I mean, to... Evan, yeah. I think Evankel would be the one to, to just... Oh, totally. Totally. Kill everyone. She was killing rankers left and right in the last arc. So... But I don't know. I thought it was good. I liked the, the, the Mad Dog stuff. That's for sure. That stood out to me. Um, oh, do you know what sticks out to me just now? Oh, my God. What? What? Evan Kell's ponytail when she's sitting down in the room. Yeah. It touches the floor. Wait, really? Oh. Hold on, hold on. What's there? Oh, my gosh. That bothers gosh. me. <laughs> that bothers you? That bothers me. <laughs> Hair touching the floor. No. Oh. And did Karaka spill on the carpet there? Do you see that? There's like a red. There's like oh, a red spot. Oh, my God. I was wondering about that. Yeah. yeah. Look. Okay. He. Okay. When he says, I live to serve food, Kraka pours the tea out on the floor. Oh, he totally does. That's funny. I was okay. like, I wonder what the trickle is. I thought he was pouring tea in for Evan Kell. It does, yeah, I didn't even notice that. So he was just like, I'm not drinking your tea. That's funny. Like, Well, actually, Karaka, there was a scene in, in season two. I'm watching someone react to the beginning of season where, two, which is why. Where he in, doesn't like tea? No, 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 no. He, <laughs> Jin Sung invites him out to dinner, quote unquote, so they can talk. And Karaka's like, you know I don't eat while I have this mask on. Or something like that. You know I don't show my face, except to the people I trust. Something like that. So it could just be like, I don't eat. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't... Yeah, that's, that's that's possible. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway. I didn't know that line existed. Yeah, yeah. I, I, like I said, I wouldn't have known unless I had seen that reaction. But then we cut to the state... Okay, we cut to Apple and Michael, which was the last thing I expected. To be honest, I was expecting Shunwa and Narei, which we were just talking about, more than Apple and Michael, because I'd almost completely forgotten about these two. Um, but I like. I, I I forgot about these two. Yeah, yeah you were Honestly. like, who are these two? Um, but they look exactly the same. They look exactly the same as their uh, previous design. Yeah, it is cool. Um, and they're trying to meet up with Rachel. Is that what it looks like? I was waiting to meet up with Rachel. So much for that. She probably didn't warp. It's not good. A little detour because now... Okay. So it looks like they picked up this secret weapon somehow. And I'm telling you, man. It's Ghost. It has to be Ghost from Season 1. Because he does that, the grrr. He does the grrr. He does the grrr. And he's big. And he's a secret weapon. And so it's confirmed that Ghost... Because if you remember when Rachel was talking with Heaton, he made a deal with her that she should do something for him when she climbed or something like that which makes me think that Heaton I, I love this theory it's not really a theory but I think Heaton is like the main villain like a, I think I mean, he's the one pulling all the strings or something like that that'd be cool anyway uh, I don't really, it's, not, it's just a thought that I had but Ghost is, was her bodyguard that Heaton sent to, to guard her so I don't know it has to be though it's gotta be I mean I don't know who else it could be at this moment so I'm going to agree with you Aka Williams Aka Williams it's confirmed it's gotta be he, he does that grr that's, thing that's all the our time. secret weapon our yeah. powerful secret weapon <laughs> a guy who can block attacks and do explosives or whatever explosions um but yeah and then we have Traveler who they're torturing we got to see Endorsey and Knock poor Traveler I know. And his phone is buzzing. So is that Rachel, like, trying to contact him or something? If, no, it's an alarm. Maybe, maybe it's Emily being like, hey, you're not talking. Oh, it totally. Yeah, I can't see his yeah, chat yeah. logs. It totally must be. He's hiding. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm just glad we got Traveler. Oh, that's, uh... I'm just glad Traveler is a part of his person now. He is a person. He's not just there. I remember, like, the one time something happened to him was during the Hell Train. Eater Day was with Rack, and they were, like, doing that weird competition with... Not weird, but with the fish or whatever. I, it's been such a long time, but... And then Eater Day, like, held him up in a bubble as, like, a hostage um, when they were fighting Rachel's group. Oh, that was so long that ago. That was so long ago. But that was, like, the last time that something happened to him slash he did something. So... Yeah, he's just been in the background. He's just been in the background. But he's, he's important, though. He is. Yeah, and he's stuck around uh, this long, so that's cool. Um, and then we cut back to Shibisu's group and stuff. We got to see Laro again. Good. 
to see him, even though he doesn't have eyes. Um, and then we get Boro and Sachi. Boro and Sachi. Dun, 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 dun. I think we're both dun, pretty happy dun, dun, with this dun, dun. result. I am. Like, I'm, I'm glad it happened. I'm just a little like, aw. Like, goodbye, guys. Even though you didn't contribute yeah, well. much at the end, it, it was nice having you around, you know? I hope <laughs> you know what's gonna happen. What's gonna happen? They're gonna they're gonna come back stronger. Yeah. And then they're gonna be spectators again. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Oh my gosh. And that's gonna mess with me so much. If that happens, I no 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 no. Like Sachi comes back and he's like, guess what? I'm the strongest B rank regular. And Boro's like, yeah, I me too. Hard. I worked hard and I got to the middle of A rank. I I I, uh, I learned another spell. It lets me grow plants. <laughs> it lets me photosynthesize like plants. Or something. It lets it lets the plants channel electricity. <laughs> uh, in all While seriousness, bomb is shooting though, three waves. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But out of his eyes. <laughs> his eyes. Each of his fingertips. <laughs> um, I. I do like Boro and Sachi a lot. They're actually two of my favorite characters, just especially because of, especially Boro, because I really, really like the stuff with Boro and Bomb in, at the start of the Hell Train with the with, whole Hell Train arc. Is the really, whole really, Hell really Train, good. because Sachi was useful even then, because he was fighting against um, Anna, like one of the one of the oh, wait, come on. clones. Come on, something. Uh, it wasn't that useful. No, but like he had a role in the story, and like no, but like the flashbacks with Daniel and, he, and, and stuff. Yeah, no, the the past the past part, learning of everyone's past yeah. and like their that old role so in, on cool. the Hell Train, it was really cool. And like that's what I mean though. Like he he may not have done much, quote unquote, but he was the ticket hunter that everybody was talking about. He he did he had some fights. He was yeah. a part of he the had story. A you know what I mean? Yeah. Exactly. So he was on the. He was on Daniel's team, and yeah, and Boro fought against Danwa and beat the crap out of him because Boro is pretty much invincible against someone who's fighting with a sword or a needle. At least in I could talk about this arc too. forever. Me too. It's so good. There's so many. There's so many. There's so many good <sighs> moments. So many. Awa versus Angel. I that was. I remember freaking out when that was happening. I was so hyped when she finally like unlocked her flames and just completely destroyed her. That was. So fun. And then they built up, and then they built up Vincent to be this really good guy. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then he was just gone. We lose him. Which was really good because, like, he was fighting was. against him, and it was like, at first, I was like, "Whoa, is he just as strong as nope, nope?" Joaquin I'm glad him. that's how it turned out because I didn't want I did, like. No, yeah. He's such a good villain. He Joaquin. is. That was the best, probably my favorite villain arc. Arc villain, and I say arc villain because he's not really a villain anymore in the same way. Um, the, he was utilized really well, so well, and like hyped up, and like he was hyped up, and he lived up to the hype. You know what I mean? Like sometimes mm -hmm. there's a villain who's hyped up and hyped up and hyped up. Like in my opinion, this may sound controversial, but Young Jihad or Data Jihad, I liked that whole fight with Bomb, but I don't think it really lived up to the hype a hundred percent because this I mean, is like jihad we're talking about like this is jihad is. you know what i mean and like yeah, they were on I'm, par I'm, with each other i don't know i'm i'm more forgiving for that one because i want to think that data jihad wasn't using his absolute full power okay. that's fair but it was like that's a fair. moment where he understood that this guy is really good which he did actually and i want and i want and i want to see him succeed and, and defeat me later like mm -hmm. my actual and actually that's confirmed and because just give me a good fight right and at the end he literally just said you know I, I i quit like i'm done fighting because you're strong so that's true that's fair i was trying to think of an example he was the only one to come to mind um like what are some of the arc villains we had we had beta for the workshop battle i guess no no beta and reflejo reflejo was kind of like the actual arc villain for the workshop battle because oh man Kuni. Arc 1 had a whole bunch of different factors. Arc 1 was technically Hansung Yu, but... Or the season 1 was Hansung, but that doesn't really count. That was kind of like a prequel. Well, well he, yeah, he, prequel. yeah. I mean, yeah, it's, it works a lot, though. Yeah. I mean, I, I would well, throw Ren. Ho in there, too. I'd throw Ren in there, too. Ren, Ren is yeah. kind of like... 
Yeah, Ho, Ho is like a, he's like a minor, he's like a antagonist, but not really a villain. So that's true, that's true. I mean, everyone was a piece on the board of Han Sung Yu. For sure, much. for sure, yeah. But then you have like Lurker and Reflejo oh, and Beta. I do love Lurker. Yeah, yeah, he was a good arc villain, who, who you know is never going to come back. Um, yeah. And we're just reminiscing about old arcs. That's what we do every time we talk about Tower God, we just we do because we because it's always like we we remember we we see this new thing and it's like hey remember this old thing though right right which is cool because these moments are probably going to become oh remember that moment you know um like there's a lot of hype moments that have happened recently like the whole thing with Calavon we're gonna be talking about Calavon for a long time just because oh yeah Calavon was... is definitely like mm, set so up really good. Solid. And the fights with him too were like insanely good. Um, and I, I, I've really said this for a long time. I think the best drawn character in Tower of God is Kalaban. Every single panel with him is like it doesn't even look like it's like on a whole nother level of art. It's so good. Um, you can tell SIU is like, hey, Kalaban's a big deal. You know, this is a guy. I think Kalaban is like. Caliban is also the only character I think that just has like he's all about absolute power. Mm. You know? It's you like You know what I mean? Like, yeah, he's not he doesn't have like a trick up his sleeve, you mean? Not really. Yeah, he's he's just like overwhelmingly powerful. Yeah. And he has yeah. the power of like heroes and stuff and Yeah. yeah. He, he's almost not even like a, a really bad guy, but he's you know, No, he's not. He's not. Um You can you can absolutely see where he's coming from and, right. and you can understand like with with the flashback, you can understand his motivations. Totally, um, he his motivation is he works with Jihad. He doesn't think he wants to change the world, and to do that, he has to work with the most powerful government or the most powerful yeah. force. Right, that's his whole thing. He wants that to is. like change the good the world for the better, but he's doing it in like a very messed up way by working for like well, evil. Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, people. Who, Jihad being evil is, is, I mean, I mean he is. I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to say it's subjective, but I mean, it almost <sighs> kind of is. I don't. Okay, he's maybe not he's not evil. He's not but completely he's, evil. He's close to he's, it, though. He's he's like he's like a lawful evil. He, yes, yes. You know, definitely. But still evil. You know what I mean? Like he still has the evil. He's he doesn't hesitate to. It's like he's and, it's like um, he's a god, pretty much. You know? Yeah, okay. Yeah. A yeah. god doesn't a, That's a god true. doesn't trifle with mortal yeah. things. Yeah, like would you call Zeus evil? Like probably not, but he did a bunch of messed up things. Um, yeah. That's fair. That's fair. But anyway, Boro and Sachi, farewell my friends. We didn't see Hockney oh, yeah. in this chapter. I did I was really yeah, expecting to see Hockney. Which means I was too actually. Yeah, he must be staying with Bomb then? Like Barrow, Barrow, Eater Day, Drag, well, is, is, Bomb. Well, no, because I think Bomb's on his own, isn't he? Well, they're, they're at the last station still, training. I, I mean, like, oh, in the past. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I have okay, no idea okay. what the situation is I see. now. But, like, back when he was training, at least. Um, I, 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 hope, guess they would I hope he hasn't completed all that training, because it seems weird that Edwin Kell would be, like, can't clear each level, and then I'll train you if you do this and that, and spelling out all these rules, yeah. and then just to skip. It would seem it. too fast. It would seem way too fast. You know. So I, like yeah. two years later, I completed all 500 levels of your training, Evan Kell, and Evan Kell will be like, "Oh, good, I, I gave you, uh, I gave you a special ability." Right. I want to see. I want to see these crazy battlefields. Totally. I want to see him fight Evan Kell too. Like, I, I was kind of hoping so. that well, that floor 52 would have been a crazy battlefield, but. I was actually Eleven. wondering that too. I was wondering if like maybe this teleporter thing like replicates floors or takes you to certain parts of the floor. I don't really know. Maybe. When you first said it, I was like, oh, maybe. And then I was like, oh, no, but it, it, it established that it's right. floor 52. Yeah, yeah. But uh, Floor 52, by the way. <laughs> floor 52, jump. yeah. Let's talk about that. So floor 52. What floor? Was it, were they on floor 45 or 43? The last station. The hell train was uh, 43, wasn't it? So this must have been like it? 43. Shoot. It's I, weird because it's like. 
Hell Train like skips you from like floor like seventeen or something to like floor floor thirty, right? Because it's the workshop. Yeah. But I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's weird. Floor thirty-five, I forget, but it is it is a little weird. It's what was the floor that Labor Row and Quant went to? Seventy-seven. Seventy-seventh. Yeah, what, dude, they're getting That's there. where they are. The last station. It must be pretty soon. We'll probably see Labor Row again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good boy, Quant. Good boy, Quant, and Blueberry. And, and, and then he immediately... And then Leiro Ro will immediately die. I... To Caliban. He's gonna die eventually, probably, because he's, like, the mentor character, but... He, he is. Kind of, he is. He, like, didn't... When he showed up, didn't he say something like that? Like, I'm here to rescue my students, or something like that? Oh, did he? I oh, think he I did. Remember. I think he did, yeah. When he took off the mask? I forget. Anyway, I, I, the last I imagine station... it was something more like, I'm here to rescue you, regulars. I remember the word students, though. Maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong, but... Maybe. Well, I mean, you know, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. But 44th floor is where the last station took place. The 44th floor. So oh, I see. that means we skipped eight floors. That's a big jump. The, the only jump that's bigger than that, I think, is the second floor to the 20th floor. <laughs> which also was a bit of a jump from season one to season two. But, um... I mean, that was fine. Oh, yeah, totally. I mean... I'm not complaining. It's just, like... Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last thing with Bomb and, and Nevin Kill. Um, his motive, chasing after Kalamon. He wants revenge. What do you think? Um, I think it's gonna be about revenge for a while until it gets to a point where he kind of starts to understand Kalamon a bit. Mm -hmm. And then it'll be more about a battle of ideals. Cause that's that's I mean. If I had, if I, I, I have seen a few shows, oh, okay. and that's usually where it goes. <laughs> Well, Tower of God always. Tower of God is interesting because it, it's a show that sort of it messes does. with your with what you know expectations versus what happens. Oh yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like it has tropes, but at the same time, it sort of breaks through. It does. Tropes. It, it it breaks the, it breaks the cliches. It does. Yeah. A lot of the time. So. Um, Throwing in constant betrayal and heartbreak. Betrayal and and like the the dub stuff so we're doing right now. It really showcases that though. The best, I think. Yeah, yeah, especially with his next upcoming arc, with Team A or Team B, Team Betrayal. I love it. Team B. And someone my was favorite commenting, team. team A stands for Aguerolanius, Team B stands for Bomb. <laughs> I was like, hey. Oh. I like that. <laughs> well, he's wrong because it's Betrayal. And... Well, <laughs> Bomb Betrayal. Like they were listing a bunch of things. Bomb. And betrayal. A is for A Betrayal. Oh yeah, duh. Yeah, yeah. He forgot. Yeah. Well, okay. Actually, I was just thinking. I was just thinking about this recently. I actually named episode forty-two "Coon's Betrayal." Gosh, I'm an idiot. Um, but the I don't think he betrayed them because, well, first of all, there's a the whole thing about well, his real team is well, his no. team. But he actually yeah. he his betrayal is different from from Endorsey, Paracule Merch, and Ho's betrayals. It's a lot of betrayals in TV. It's different from them because every single one of them is after themselves. So Paracle and Merch, they want to get the most points they can. Ho wants to pass instead of Bomb, and Dorsey wants to eliminate all the fishermen so she can pass. But Kuhn, not only is he doing it for Bomb, but he's actually he, he made it so that every single regular on his team had an opportunity to prove himself. You know what I mean? So, yeah. so that they could pass if they deserved it. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, because I'm I'm bitter about Serena not making it. I know, especially after this latest episode. There was comments. We'll, we'll never, we'll never see her again. No, and I mean I'm kind of glad because it's like bittersweet. It's like, wow, there are actually is, characters actually. we care about that we had to leave behind. You know. Speaking of characters we care about. How about Awa, huh? What's going on with that situation? Freaking Awa. Okay, so first of all, these two characters look cool. I, li I think I like the snake guy's design a little better. Because um, he just looks psycho, but like calm. Psycho. I like his little. I like his little feather feather collar. Yeah, it looks. It's like Squall so, from Final Fantasy. Yeah, VIII. yeah, yeah. Actually. Yeah, that's what it reminds me of. And he's like. Although, like. Hair. Yeah, that's the that's the weird thing. I actually, feel like he looks more like a crow to me. Crow? He does a snake. Yeah, a crow. 
I don't know, but he looks like an REA a little bit. Um, I don't think he's from the family. That's just what it reminded me of. I don't. He doesn't have a sword. Well, wasn't, wasn't like the REA family? Didn't they have like a like an animal associated with them or something? Let me look that up. Like, because the only thing. Because I think snake. I remember White having one, didn't he? Didn't not a snake, but it was like something else. An albino animal with red eyes. I don't. But then his eyes aren't red, are they? No, they're white. Yeah, I don't know. Um, Wait. I think they have a little bit of red around them because it's like his eyebrows or his eyelashes. Um, but it could be like a nickname. What's Arya Han's nickname? His like sobriquet, sobriquet, whatever you call it. His uh, his sobriquet. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Is white or or white sword? I know that Yuri's sobriquet is Black Snakehead, though. That's that's what I was thinking. I was like, someone has snake. Someone has snake. In there. Black Snakehead. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's always like an animal or a fish. That's usually uh, what it is. Um, Evans is like fast ship or something like that. But, uh, yeah. Fast ship. I, all right, I have to look it up now. I it's something like fast ship. Yeah. Um, it's. The fast ship, yeah. Fast ship. I, I'm. It's sad that I know all these. I spent too much it's time. It's not. It is not. You knew. You know. You you have. You know everything. It's good that you're the one well, working on the dub instead of me. No, no, no. You know a lot of things that I don't too. That I don't catch. Um, with with little references it's... and stuff. But. I'm just, but I'm just I, I, but I know far from everything. I did a live stream recently. I was a guest on a live stream with um, Nia D. Hemmings, I think is the, his YouTube channel. He, he does Tower of God videos. And oh, yeah? there was like seven of us. And they knew so much. Like It'd be funny if they're watching this now. But I was like, they were, they were talking about Shinsu. That was like the topic of the video. I'll link it to you after this. But Yes, please. I'd like to... Yeah, learn about it was fun. Too. It was fun, but like they knew the wiki like in an inside and out. They they like they probably wrote the wiki. They, they probably did. <laughs> it certainly seemed like it. Um, they're like referencing like Shinsu is this because that's how you said this in a blog post and boom boom. And I was like, whoa, I don't deserve to be here. I just make dumb videos. <laughs> but uh, I direct people and they yeah, say the words. I'm and an then actor. They... <laughs> No, um, you know, you know, you know well, more well, than you think. Well, thank you. You're a Wikipedia page too. I, I'm like smaller. My my Wikipedia page is just Awa's page because she's best girl. Just going back to Awa. I mean, until maybe she dies. I think twenty five percent. Twenty five percent, she's dead. Seventy five percent, she's alive. Yeah, I think I agree with that. Yeah. I think the the my theory that my theory I had falls apart when you add what is it? What did he say again? Who? Oh, the companions. Compa he was companions, like yeah. because your juvial grace is companions. But that's because she said, "Why are you doing this to us?" So maybe it was just a response to her. It's possible. I I don't know because they just knocked him out. It's not really like they did anything to him. I don't think he's dead because there's no blood or sign that he's dead. Um, can we talk about this? Happens to them a lot because this exact same thing happened to them by Arya Inietta on the name in the name hunt station. They got wrecked and captured by him. Except they're not capturing them this time. But but that's also like what's the bargaining chip, right? What's the bargaining chip? Also, there was no Elaine this time. No Elaine, just someone who kind of looked like. Okay, it's fine. She'll be in the next episode. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, right. totally. <laughs> I don't have to be worried. Yeah. She's probably doing something really, 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 really important. And, yeah. Uh -huh. and important that she feeding her know, dog, <laughs> feeding her wolf. Yeah. For two years. Probably that. You know. <laughs> hey, at least she's back. She's with the group. At least. Sort of. That I was really happy when I saw that. Me too. I mean, I don't know if you saw my reaction. I, f I was like stunned. I did not expect it at all. But uh, anyway, okay, the last scene, the dog shelter, which I don't know what the dog shelter is. I don't know if it has to do with the mad dog, the mad dogs, but uh, he's running away. Get him. He went back. What is on his shirt? Falal? Yeah, I don't know. Falal? It's weird. Falal? Falal. Falafel? Falafel. 
There's no F that I fell a lot. Yeah, I don't know. But I'm interested in what's on Shia Lulu shirt. Let me see. VXXA? VXXA. You know what? She's she is she's cute. She is. Get her. What's that what's that thing though on her? Her pet. I don't know. Pet on her shoulder. We 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 don't get a good look at it at all. We just get its eyes a little bit late. Like you can see little if you look at the panel where you can see her from the side, you see this like maybe a little red eye or something. And then when it, when she's surprised, you can see a tiny bit of it behind the text box. But she she looks like Elaine a little bit um, with Elaine's new design. Oh, that's but... probably that's probably why I like her. Yeah, yeah, you're an Elaine fanboy. Mm. But but the weird thing too, I don't know if this matters, but her name is Shia Lulu and. Know yeah. there's a character named Shia Shia, who is a rabbit girl with rabbit ears, and we yeah, know, that's right? And, we, and we've seen another member of Shia Shia's race as well, and they beat her in the test, and she was trying to make money. Did you remember that? Do you remember that episode? It was so brief, but I do remember actually. Yeah. And so both Shia Shia and that person who was the same race as her were trying to raise money for someone for their family, for like their family or their grandma or someone who's sick or something. I don't know if there's a connection to this person, but there is an animal on her shoulder. It is the dog shelter. I don't know. She appears to be a bounty hunter of some kind. And she appears to be a wave controller as well. Is she? Oh yeah, I see now. The next frame. All the Shinsu, yeah. All the the, the, the splashes of yeah of stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then, so there's this new character, the new protagonist that you totally called, and I thought it was a joke. I was joking too. I was, yeah. That's... <laughs> Before the like the first thing I, I messaged you and was like, "Don't read the chapter," and you responded back like, "Oh my gosh, new protagonist!" Just kidding. <laughs> and it actually came true. I cannot. Wow. Wow. We're gonna find out this is like not a new character at all. <laughs> the guy who was running away. <laughs> Just someone from season like, season one. Yeah. I don't know, but last last thing is bomb. Freaking bomb looking. He looks like Kuhn. Do you think he's doing that on purpose? Because he's. I, I think he can get away with his style. Oh, he totally there's, can. There's no, he looks, he looks there's, handsome there's, as hell. There's no Kuhn there to tell him, hey, you're stealing my chick, you know? That's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> That's not why he's doing it, but you know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, you could tag, you could say that he's trying to, like. Because Kuhn trying is. To be more like his, he's trying to be more like his friends. He's right. Just, and having that hairstyle would make him confident like Kuhn. That's totally how it works. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm talking out of my ass, but I mean... Oh, yeah, yeah. I've, I mean, I don't know. Possible. It's possible. It's possible. You know, you know, they might even... He might even explain it. He might be like... I think my I hair think used to be really long, but... Hard here. Yeah, I know. But... It's about hair, too. Yeah. But, the, but it is interesting, right? Not to talk about his hair for forever, but... He cut his hair to show that he's bombed now, but now he's growing it out again. Does that mean he's like reverting back to viol, or does it mean he's in the middle? Maybe, maybe he just can't find a haircut thing. Like, he's just never know? happy with his hair. Oh yeah, there's no person. To maybe cut it. there's no barber on the 40th floor to the 50th second. You know, you know? you're probably right. It's probably... <laughs> I bet you endorse. Him. You okay, well, okay. Him. Here's here's the thing. He has been cutting his hair. It's been two years. Right. Right. That that stuff gets long real fast. He's been cutting his hair, but but he he likes the ponytail style. You know what? And Dorsey and probably like gave him the pigtails. That's true. And <laughs> she must have thought it was cute. Um, it which is, it is, it is, you know, cute. it is. I like it. I like it. Let's good good on you, Bomb. No, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Bomb is a handsome hunk in this last panel. A hunk? I don't know, but he oh, is he's handsome. A hunk. Hunk. In his own way, I mean. Come like, on, he's a he's a twink. Who's the whole of, series? He's not a twink. a twink. He is totally he, a twink. Everyone keeps seen saying his like abs that he totally has. He, everyone says, oh, he's really strong with his wave control, but if he gets like punched or something, he's done. No, no, no. He's got martial arts. He got trained in martial arts by Jin Sung. Well, I mean, he know. beat Alex. He beat Amigo Charis in the fist fight. That's yeah, but that's so Amigo Charis. <laughs> Yeah. As soon as that I was said like it, I was like, wait, I mean, <laughs> this is really a valid point. 
but my point the point is they took away his wave controller abilities so that during I want to know what the comments think to show is, is bomb right. a hunk who's more of a, a hunk twin? than bomb that's my question name a character more of a hunk than bomb Hansung Caliban Hume. oh okay <laughs> I chose like the hunkiest yeah, dude yeah you did you did I forgot about Caliban the monk he is alright I, I yeah Caliban's the hunk of this story well, I mean, um, I mean, that's not the thing I'm trying to make. I'm trying to, I mean, is Bomb a hunk or a twink? He is not. A I want to see. He was a twink in season one. I want to say he's still a twink. He is not still a twink. Being a twink doesn't I mean you're like. I will fight you on this. <laughs> oh my he's god. Like really? scrawny, like, gonna, he's not like a scrawny. You're gonna. He's not. He's not. I mean. All right. Let me look at what twink. Being is. a, being a twink doesn't mean you're like. Oh man, you're not buff or something. No, but it means you're... Yeah, it does. Can you be a twink if you're buff? Yes. If you're like, you know... You, like you hesitate. Still, still... Oh. No, because I, I, want, I wanted to sound convincing, but clear, clearly that didn't work. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, here's the official Wikipedia. Okay. Um, or, or the Google. It says, a gay or effeminate man. <laughs> <laughs> or, a, or a young man regarded as an object of homosexual desire. Are you saying this man without with That's pigtails what saying, man. is not effeminate? It, and then if you go to another dictionary, it says a young, attractive, usually slender or physically fit gay male. So it does say he's physically fit, but but we, I don't know. I, he's not a twink. That's my point. Comment section. Comment section. Okay. He, he is. I need this val. I need. I need this validation. Okay. <laughs> twink versus he is a hunk. Twink. I'm more he is on totally a twink. Like, if I had to pick, I'd pick Hong Kong or Twink. Tweet, tweet at me, Team Twink. <laughs> <laughs> Plug your Twitter. What's your Twitter, Joe? Uh, my Twitter is twitter.com slash Dr. Bonehead. That is not... Dr. underscore Bonehead. That is not your Twitter. Be sure to follow me. It, his Be Twitter, sure to follow me and all my friends. His Twitter is at Chromex20, everybody. I'll link it in the comments. Dude, don't plug your Twitter, dude. <laughs> Messed up. Just because my name is. You should follow uh, twitter.com slash doctor underscore bonehead, please. Is it, is it underscore actually? It is, yeah. Dot dr okay. yeah, underscore yeah, yeah, yeah. bonehead, yeah. Oh, yeah, gosh. yeah, yeah. I know my own Twitter. <laughs> Taking advantage of the Joe name, huh? Um, mm, I don't the, know what you're talking about. There's <laughs> Okay, there's two last things I want to talk about. <laughs> um, one, oh. I wanted to talk about that. I just kind of realized that Shibisu's team, at first I thought his whole team was going. But it's actually not, because Anok isn't going, and neither is Endorsey, who's she left his team a while ago. But but also, best Ver, no Verdi, Verdi isn't going. The octopus girl. Um. So there's a Birdie. few members. Do you remember who Verdi is? I'm gonna look it up. All right. She's I'll, the one I'll, who gave me saying her berserker power. Um. Oh, why did I get the Tokyo Verdi Football Club? <laughs> I should have known that just typing yeah. to Birdie is not going to work. Birdie. Yeah. Oh, look at her. Yeah, right? Remember her now? Oh. Well, she's not there. Like, she was there. We saw her recently. So we know she's still on CBC's team, but she wasn't. She didn't go with them. Okay, hang on. I don't know this. Fr I don't, I've never seen this frame, I, I feel like. Which one? I'm looking at her wiki this, page. It's it's literally the one with the octopus, like no, I next to that. powers and powers yeah. and abilities. She's she's holding Prince and Missing. I must have I must have blocked that out of my memory. <laughs> yeah, it's the octopus. It was the, like the same same or the poo 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 poo. Yeah, it was around the same time that Bomb was fighting Amigo Charts actually. We were just talking about in like Vespa poisoned horror unit stuff. That I think. I think I need a minute <laughs> to process this octopus. This adorable octopus. It's pretty that's cute. That's just on top of a bunch of dead bodies. <laughs> and like, holding two lifeless. Oh my gosh. It's. Um, it's... <laughs> I, I, I think swear. It's funny. I, I blocked it out of my memory, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because she's she's one of the only animas that we've seen. People who like use animals um, or like creatures, like Hansong, Verity, Naray, actually from season one, 
um, Alphine from the Name Hunt Station. I think technically, I don't know if Kaiser technically counts as an anima with the wolf, but um, I think that's something different, but it's cool. I don't know. But anyway, I wanted to bring that up, that not everybody from Shibisu's team went, including Anok and Verdi. And then last thing to talk about, oh boy. Jin Sung and why we think. Oh yeah. This is where we get okay. the dislikes. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'll 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 keep it brief, okay? Yeah, let's keep brief. I think the story beats would have hit harder. Okay. Like, at some like okay, at some point, someone's gonna figure it out, whether it be before or after they beat Calavan. Probably before because Calavan just seems like a big, humongous monster. Yeah. And and I feel like. When he, when we all thought he was dead, yep. it it was really raised. It really raised Hard. the stakes. It raised, you know? yeah, yeah. And it was especially like, when like Macheni, like she backstabbed him, killed yeah, him fast. I did not. It almost se- that. It almost seems like it was a mercy kill because Calavan would have done way worse. Mm. To me, you know, cool thing to do. But yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying. But it, it's it's in character though. Oh, totally. Yeah. She could to- She could totally do that. For sure, um, but instead he's like hooked up to a machine and he's. Yeah, yeah. I never like that. I never like when they. I think it's better in, in in tower. Like I don't think them keeping him alive was like a, a bad decision. I just think the better decision would have been if he died. Because um, it's like, what is he gonna do now? Right. Exactly. Like he's, he's just gonna be captured in a machine for like for like a season. Yeah. Exactly. Is that what's gonna be? Another. I, I don't. I don't need to see. I, I want him to go out on his terms. Yeah, yeah, going out. Like, and he thought he was going to die, too. Um, like, he smoked his last cigarette. He was using that ultimate technique, which is, like, so cool with the tiger and stuff. And the dragon. Well, he's not going to be deceased. I mean... But, okay, here's the thing. I'm worried because yeah. are things going to be back to normal now for him? Like, if he fu- when he fully recovers... I was just going to say And he that. gets, like, robot so. hands or something. I don't think so. I think he's done fighting. That's yeah. what I predict. I think his he's lived for like a few thousand years. I think he's I think he's done fighting. I think, he, I think he's lived. If his that's career. the case, yeah. then he should have died. Yeah, agreed. The mentor character needs to die. Like, yeah, I mean they don't they don't always have to die, but I mean it was okay. this was set up really well. He's right, that's what I like, mean. Like mentor like the mentor archetype is like, he did everything he needed to do. He filled in every blank that other mentor characters who have died did. You know what I mean? But then they just left out the part yeah. where he died. So it was like, oh, interesting. Um, so then he's going to like come back at some point and he's going to, like, I don't bomb. know, They're teach Bomb his final bomb. message. Yeah. He'll do his final lesson and then he'll probably like reconcile with Karaka. And well, then... what if... This is not going to happen. But what if he still dies? Well, then, that would just... I mean, okay, it it would depend. Like, what if, like, they're trying to rescue him, right? And they go into the building, they're fighting Mashini, and Mashini's, like, about to kill Bomb, and, like, Jin Sung, like, hops in the way, or something like that. I feel like Mashini wouldn't fight Bomb. I'm saying, like, if she's guarding him, she would certainly fight Bomb. I don't think... I don't know. It's such a a weird position to be put in. Yeah, my point... She's a villain, for sure. She's a bad guy. Yeah. She's set up as, like, a, a potential future villain. But she has her own ambitions, so totally. she's not like f- associated with. But she's also psycho. She's complete. Like we saw her. Her motivation literally is she wants to spill blood and kill all the people who are. Like she literally said, "I just want to spill blood." She said, "You and I have the same motives, Jin Sung. I just want to spill more blood." Like, that's a kind of a psychotic thing to say, a psycho thing to say. So um. Do you know what else is messed up? What? White. White being able to walk around, but. What do you mean? He gets to. I mean, like, I don't know. I feel like he. Okay, well, I mean, that's actually. I. I. That my my point's wrong already. Okay. Where? We need to see him do more despicable things. <laughs> well, he's not a villain anymore. He has to be. No, because he's like. He oh, still, he killed know. a he killed a thousand people. Voice crack. I know. I know. But like, I, I I'm not disagreeing with totally you that he should be. Can't. My point is that I don't think he is anymore because now Albelda and him are like working together inside his head like every did you time, see that yeah did you see that one video like that that one pro zd video 
where it's I'm like sure, everyone yeah. forgives the, the, yeah, the, yeah. The, the everyone forgives the villain even <laughs> the, though the we did Vegeta a bunch of terrible thing. things. <laughs> it's the whole Vegeta thing, yeah. He killed Prince. He killed Prince. He, he ate killed, Prince. He killed Arc Raptor. Well, Rachel killed Arc Raptor. We can't. I mean, yeah. I I I, I want to make sure that she's blamed. We for can't. That. We can't. I can't let that go. Well, no, and he also killed. Obviously, White needs to be an arc villain. Rowan, another arc villain. He killed Daniel's girl. Um, yeah. In the past, he's done so many messed up things. He oh, literally man, has slaughtered it. thousands in his past, and he was bragging about it. And he devoured he all did. their souls. We can't. He can't be a good guy now. I mean, yeah, but that's the whole thing. Like Vegeta killed millions of people through destroying planets and stuff. I don't know. I, millions might be a okay, bit Okay, thousands. A thousands easily. I don't know. Okay. Well, oh, he was he blowing actually, up planets, think, dude. He, okay, that's a good point, okay? <laughs> he blew up the bug, the bug planet. More than just Yeah, okay. Planet. Maybe maybe he has killed a few billion people. <laughs> uh-huh. I mean, though, like, okay. He was crying when Frieza was beating him up, you know? Because he was, it was like I only did it die. because I only did it because this this man I have to serve this man and he blew up my planet anyway. He was crying because he didn't want to. I don't know if that was the reason. I don't know. That's there's anyway. My point is that it's okay. Villains can be redeemable. I don't think White is gonna be a total good guy. I think he's kind of like in a Karaka position where Karaka is not a villain. He's just working with him for now. And if Karaka is more of a good guy than White, but White. I don't know. What do you guys think in the comments? Do you think that White is going to be a... I mean, honestly, talk about this whole video if you want, but this question particularly, is White going to be a villain from now on? Is he going to go back to being bad? Is he going to be a total good guy now, working with the team? What's the deal there? Because you, ha you, you yeah. can't deny he's not going to go back to what he was before, because Albelda is kind of in control, too. Also, is he a twink or a hunk? Leave a comment. Bomb, twink, or hunk. Uh, white Twinker Hunk. Oh, also. white Twinker. Okay, <laughs> that one's tougher actually. For me. Um, I mean, I don't. I'm not 100 percent sure on it either. Yeah. But I'm gonna say he's a Twink also. Uh, me too. I'm gonna say White's a Twink. You're gonna say White's a Twink, but not Bomb. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Yes, I'm sticking <laughs> with my guns. We have not seen Bomb shirtless in a while. I think you'd be surprised at how much of a hunk next is. next episode. Please. Shirtless Bomb. Please, that's how you Hang, please. Hangs out with, hangs out with Daniel. I'd love to see Daniel again. Dude, Dan, well, Daniel and like Akka, like those are the two characters that were left behind. Do you think that they are? That's all. Okay, we'll make another video talking about all this. There's so much to talk well, about. We could talk about this forever. We've been recording for almost two hours, so. Oh my God! Make <laughs> sure you leave a comment about Twink or Hunk. Please do after watching this video. And those of you who have stayed to the end, hats hats off to you. Clap for you and stuff because you are a true Tower of God fan and we appreciate you. Um, I am very impressed. Yes, we are impressed. Can you say that in your cell voice? Perfect cell. I am very impressed. That was not... Gotta go lower. I am... I am very impressed. That's, that's like a sexy perfect cell. I'm very impressed. I don't know, that's not even... <laughs> that's not even no, I'm just kidding. I mean, you, you sounded like... A How could you? How I'm could just, you expose no, me as a fraud on your saying. on your Tower of God thing? You sounded I don't know, it was just sounded a little <laughs> different from when you first came to the call and you were doing the voice. Um but but what were we talking about? I don't know. Are but we talking about white being a hunk or a No, no, never not that. <laughs> Alright. Uh, thank you all for watching. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. Um hopefully I get this up tomorrow, which is Tuesday. Um if I can upload this overnight or something. We'll see. Maybe it'll be a bit, bit later. But uh there will be a new Tower of God episode next Sunday, and there should be a new Rebirth episode on Wednesday. Um, Look forward to both of those. Yes, yes, for sure. And go follow Joe, the assistant director slash voice of Lay Row Row. Yes. Twitter.com slash Dr. Twitter Chromex20. And YouTube channel Chosen Hero Arrives VA, right? Yeah. I go there for it. nothing. No comment for no videos. But Three videos. A playlist for the stuff he's voiced in, which is cool. That I haven't kept up to date in a couple months, but yeah, hey. but it's still there. He does Fire Emblem stuff and other things that he's wasting. And then go buy every game that Joe is in. Go buy every game. Go buy XOXO Droplets, because Joe voiced in that. No! No! Go do it! Go do it!
It was like number one on the visual novel website for a long time and stuff. So very cool. Like for real? I think so. Crap. It was definitely uh, like plug- on the front Stop. page. How do you know all this? Dude, I am. Stop, I've Stop been... plugging me, dude. <laughs> You're freaking me out. <laughs> <laughs> thanks me. man for, thanks for having me on man yeah thanks for coming on it's always really it's a pleasure this yeah. is the first time i've been on on a reaction i don't know why i say it's it's always a pleasure to be on it's always a pleasure to talk with me i believe is what you were trying to say um well um i wouldn't use those words exactly oh, but okay. yeah uh-huh. pleasure back to being rivals now no longer friends hmm? well I, you know I, I try to keep it in check you know I tried. I tried to tone it down. I tried to let my inner Tower of God theorist come out. Yeah, and it came out. I, I tried to let sure. that shine out. Yeah, for sure. And it was fun. I just love getting to discuss this. So if you guys want to see more discussion videos or talking about a particular topic, kind of like what Nia did on his channel, Shinsu video, which I'll also link below, um, let us know, and we will see you next time for next next Wait. Monday for the next reaction. Sorry to interrupt, but you know yeah. what you should do? What should I do? You should rate every Tower of God character, hunk or twink. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> and let me be there to judge your decision. <laughs> we should have a video where we just rank the characters by like, and put them into categories. We should add a couple more categories too. Uh, besides hunk or twink, what other categories are there? So are you just saying every man <laughs> ever can be categorized as hunk or twink? I'm not. I'm not saying anything. Well, what am I, Joe? My hunk or twink? Um. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Let me think. Uh-huh. Um. Okay. Uh-huh. I don't know. I'm okay. gonna say twink. Just because. Just because of the voice, really. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um. I'm not gonna talk about what you are. <laughs> I don't know. What that no means. one knows what I am. <laughs> no one knows what Joe is. I'm you're, a you're faceless perfect. man. You're perfect. <laughs> perfect yes, perfect. Perfect Joe. No. Perfect Joe. Huh? Um, yes. That no, is what I go no, by sometimes. No, 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 no. Uh, bless your Joe and... Perfect Joe. That's no, my name. No, that's, that's the new it. one, okay? Okay, we're gonna end this video, video already. Okay, bye everybody.